Hello there, everybody! This is No Name Woman Sport. It's been a little while since I've uh, played this game, and I am back today with From the Depths. Yes! It's been a little while. I'm back to uh, doing the shipbuilding. And today's goal. Let me adjust my uh, headset a little bit. Okay, come on. Thank you. Today's goal is going to be a destroyer. So I'm actually going to start out by spawning in an existing destroyer. And this would be the Candiac class. I'm also going to go ahead and spawn in the Coat St. Luke too. As uh, these would be the two destroyers built um, around the set I'm building. Now, off. off on both of them. So, actually, how big is the Candiac in terms of size? Candiac is 106, the Coat St. Luke is 108. Okay, yeah, that tracks. Um, so, the destroyer I'm going to be building is a 2500 tonner. Um, for comparison, the Candiac is a 2000 tonner, and the Coat St. Luke is a uh, 2200 tonner. Or, yes, a 2,000 tonner and a 2,200 tonner. So, whatever destroyer we're building needs to basically situate itself in the between these two. In terms of uh, quality. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull both them from play. And move them over, move that one over this way and move that one over this way. Create just a little bit bigger separation. Before I uh, start, put the main destroyer I'm building in the center. So I look here. That's the older one, that's the newer one. Receiving. So, we're gonna be starting with the Pincor class of destroyers. Um, hold on, I should have a... Do I, do I have a picture on when these were built specifically? I think 1942 is when they were designed. Uh... Don't have an exact picture on when they were built, but yeah, 1942 it looks like was when they were designed, so they were probably commissioned around 1943, starting in like 1943 and maybe 1944 at the latest. Maybe 1942 at the earliest, I don't know. Um, and, I mean, you can see it on the top of the screen right now. Uh, that should be readable. Hopefully somewhat readable. And then after that, uh, we will be building another... Well, okay, we have to modify the pin core into its 1956 configuration. And then we'd have to build the... Uh, oh, what is it? The uh, St. Mary class as well. Um, which would be built on the same hall as the pin core and use some of the same superstructure elements. So, yeah. Between our uh, two destroyers here. So where did I get the second sub-point from? Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. That makes sense. Uh, load us a vehicle. So I want my uh, Canada Ship Starter V2. Take you. Save the vehicle. Override and allow save. So you are DD Pin Core. Um, yeah, DD Pin Core, I think. I have class for all the destroyers. Um, I'll say the 1942. Yeah, okay, Pincor 1942. And I, before I started the stream, I probably should have gone and uh, looked up a bunch of stuff in regards to this. So let me go do that real quickly. Okay. Now let's start with maybe Porter. Open up the Porter class destroyer. I'll open up a, a British destroyer as well. So let's do a tribal class destroyer for Britain. So I'll start by opening these up. So tribal class at deep load is about the same amount of tons. 
Um, we probably want to go a little bit larger than a tribal then. A porter class... I think... I think, yeah, porter class is probably the closest in terms of size. What about the... Maybe the summers would be good too. So keep the porter pulled up. Yeah, uh, my hand's a little too small. Gridley's too small, I imagine. Yeah. Bagley's too small. Summer's too small. Summer's is also around the right size. And I'm gonna assume that the rest of the pre-war American destroyers are just not there. But the Fletcher. Fletcher's relatively close. Ooh, Sumner's pretty close, actually. And I assume the gearing would be too. Actually, those are right around the correct time frame of this. So with the tribal class destroyer, um, I'm gonna... Okay, first I'll work backwards. Make sure that the tribal class is pulled up so that I uh, know what I'm looking for. So that goes to J class, which is a little too small. L and M. L and M's about the right size. O and P, are those the right size? Not quite. Q and R aren't quite. S and T. Mm, S and T I could use for reference. U and V. Nope. So once I have all my reference images, I can actually start building. Uh, looks like W and Z is about the right size, so keep that pulled up on my reference sheet. C class is also the right size. That goes into the weapons class, which is probably a little bit too modern. But I think it is probably good to keep the weapon class pulled up then. Alright, so last thing, last thing I want to check is, uh, maybe a, maybe a French destroyer. Spin cores were fast. Uh, Mogador is a little too big. Um, Fantastique's a little too big. I don't know if Aquilin, is it, that's around the right size. The, uh, Agile. Agile. Yeah, Agile. And uh, Gepard seem to be about the right size. Um, probably a little earlier. This was the uh, Chacal. Those are like their large destroyers. What about their normal size destroyers? With the, the Hardies. Yeah, those aren't bad. I'll keep the Hardies pulled up. I think their older ones aren't as relevant. And there's the T-47 class. And those are a little bit too heavy. Okay. So that means I have a good list of destroyers pulled up from the American, British, and French navies to use as reference. Okay, actually, I think the gearing's a little too big. Okay, so Porter class destroyer. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I should have a text box here just so I can type out what I'm doing. So let's do a long sign. So we can figure out. Actually, you know what? Instead of one long, let's let's do some normal signposts. All right. So and that. So I'll put in Porter, and Porter is. How long? How long? Uh, 116... 116, 11, 3. 
Next one up would be the uh, Summers, which is 116, 11, and 3. I'm going to need long sign posts. Why does the three on Summers transfer to the bottom? All right. I'll just make my list. Actually, hold on, hold on. No. I'll grab uh, the bigger sign posts here. Actually, let's, uh, let's lay out a few more blocks. Maybe not five there. Alright, so now that should go back up to the surface. Cool. Okay, so it's still having these weird things. Alright, so... Okay, so if we go with like a Fletcher, that would be 115, uh, 12, and 5 meter beam. Uh, so it looks like we're looking at about 115, 116 meters long. So far from the American destroyers, with about a uh, 11 to 12 meter beam, and um, probably about a 4 meter draft is what I'm guessing. Uh, Sumner is a bit heavier, looks like. Uh, she was 100, only 112 long. Actually, no, she was 115 overall. Uh, looks like about that's more about a 13 meter beam, which is, might might be what I do. And so I think she's more of the time period we're looking at. Um, and about 5 meter... Actually, she had about a 6 meter draft. Maybe we we'll go 5 meter draft. Um, and gearing's a little too big. So tribal class, a little older. They were 115, 11, 3 and a half. Um, L&M is 110, 11 and 3. S&T is 100. 111, uh, t 11 and 4. Uh, w and Z is 111, 11, 3. Uh, C class is right about the time, is uh, 110, 11 and 3. Weapon class 111. 12 and 4. And going to the French destroyers, the Vequin class, which is closer on standard displacement, is 130, 12, and 5. Uh, Agile is 128, 129, uh, 12 and 4. Uh, Gapard is 130, 12 and 4. Uh, Chekel is 127, 11, and 4, and the Lahardi is 117, 11, and 4. So it looks like we want to ship about, maybe about 116 meters long. Probably about 4 meters of draft. What I'm thinking, 116, 117 long, 4 meters of draft, probably. Oh uh, no, 115 to 117 meters long, 4 meters of draft, and that should be good. And about, I'll, I'll say 13 wide. We'll make this a little bit of a wider boat. Um, actually, I'm gonna Listening. pull you out of play. Actually, make Water you a boat. boat at your service. Receiving. Put you back into play. All right, so uh, Cote Saint Luke is 108 meters long. Okay, and the uh, this one is 106. So we are going for a little bit larger of a destroyer here with this. All right, so if we want a 13 meter beam. 
how best do we pull that off? Actually, if I look at the bottoms of these destroyers, how did I shape it? So, okay, so we have then we have that shape there, and then on the Cote St. Luke, which would have been really my first proper attempt at this. That one's a little bit more flat-sided. Actually, can I... I have an idea. I'm going to sketch fab. Quickly. Just so I can look at models. Um, I typed in the word destroyer, and they're all star destroyers. Hold on. Models. Um... Samatari, there's another Japanese destroyer, not what I need. Let me just pull a few up and hope that this doesn't have any adverse effects on my computer. I just want to get the bottom shape a little bit better. Ooh, a British destroyer and a German destroyer there, that's excellent. I like having those up. Hunt's probably not a proper destroyer. I'll scroll up and uh, take a look at the uh, Samadare as well, the Samadare model. This is just for the uh, below the waterline hull form. Okay, so the French destroyer, uh, you're not going to be able to see this, but I have, since I have it on my other screen, um, actually does very much have a keel and slope up from that and then do another slope. Um, for the British destroyer, which is what class is this? I don't know what class that is. Doesn't seem to have a very British name. That one's a little bit more flat bottom. Looks like flat bottom with a curve to the side. The French destroyer has a little bit more of a curve. Uh, German destroyer. A little bit more flat bottom. Uh, that other German destroyer, a little bit more flat bottom. Uh, the Samadari model. I don't think that's the greatest model in the world, but uh, more rounded. But not the greatest model. Try and. Okay, you know what? I should take a look at the other ones. So, Pincor. Pincor was capable of 35 knots. So she is a very fast uh, ship, especially for from, uh, for uh, World of Waves 2. Um, but even then, like, a Porter could hit 37. A uh, Summers could hit, what, 36, 38? Fletcher is 36. Uh, Sumner's only 34. Okay, so she's right. We could we could probably go with more of a flat bottom for her. Um, I could go with a more complicated shape if I want to. But I, th I feel like the pin cores would have more of a flat bottom to them. And say this uh, epithetical French destroyer looks like. Okay, so this will be more, maybe kind of a cross between the two models. All right, where's my center point? There's my center point. Okay, so we're going 13 wide. So that's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. That's how wide the ship has to be. So my thought is this. We do this. This will be our this will be our uh, hull form. All right. So how how long does the ship have to be? All right. So we're looking at about a hundred and sixteen meters long. So I'm just gonna add some lead off the bow and stern for this. I did not, 
I've been hitting B a lot when I mean to press V, so if you see me suddenly drop it like that, that's why. Okay, so that's 68 long. It's 92. It's now 100. That's 108. That would be as long as that destroyer over there. Under 12, 116. Alright, so this is the overall length of the ship. Should probably put more of those on the stern, just to keep the center of this a little bit more aligned. But we are going to chop these off at the bow and stern, um, for implementing the actual hull form. Okay, so that, that would be this here. This little midship section is uh, the underwater slope. At least, you know, here. Okay, so we gotta kinda get a midship section in. I'll leave it at that for now. I'll modify that later if I need to. Alright, so... Let's first save the vehicle. Also, one thing I should do is like, I should grab one of my camos. Let me Let me do that real quickly. So I'm just going to quickly grab one of those and put it on. It won't be, like, anything final. Um, I'm just largely doing... Uh, there's a reason. There's going to be a reason I'll, I'm doing this. Um, camouflage textures. Uh, alloy texture. That. Point two. Yeah, okay, yeah. Camouflage is not enabled. Camouflage should be enabled for you. Color 5. Camouflage should not be enabled. And I'm going to increase the alpha. To 100% on that. So this will have a little bit more of a white shade to it. So that I can tell when I'm painting in color 5 and color 3. That is the intention. Um, eventually I will shift color 5 to a camouflage shape, but it's it's something where I can I can use either. That's the idea. Alright, so if I, I should actually take a look at my other ships in just terms of how I built the bow, because I want to do probably more like that. Actually, I did it on both of them. Spin core kind of has a sharper this one's a little more smoothed um pin core or not pin core uh code saint luke code saint luke's bow i still need to smooth out um although it probably won't smooth out perfectly just due to how i have it constructed but i could still get it smoother and you're sinking okay so if i look at my reference boats oh, hold on textures. i need to add dot png to this so that to actually work. Okay. So if I'm actually looking at the uh, destroyers, um, just quickly go to uh, Google Image Search and uh, put in a couple. Alright, so I got 
So I'll be looking up images of Lehardy, Fletcher, uh, the Tribal, the C-Class, and the Summers. For reference. So I do need that sharp bow. I do kind of need to curve it outwards a bit, I think. Or up. Have some bow shear is the other option. Um, I, I think I will need... Yeah, I'll need some bow shear. I'll probably want the bow shear. Definitely, definitely want the bow shear. Um, this is the question... The big question is, do I want... Oh, uh, I probably want two meter... Um, yeah, I probably want two meter, uh, two or three meter, uh, wedges. Two meter might be easier. Okay. So what I need to think about is... We're going with like a four meter thing, then that would need to be there. I think you would need to be color two. I might do three meter, then four meter. Hold on. Like three meter below the water line. So then. Four meter. No. Three meter and then one below that. And then here at the water line it becomes two meter. And then I'll position this so that the ship is exactly about 160 meters long. So that would be. Th that would be four meters of freeboard, technically three at the bow. So you are one, two, three. Okay. You construct, so you're giving uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then plus that, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're three at the stern. Uh, you are one, or I think you're six. Code St. Luke, I think, is six. Code St. Luke is 6. That one's 5 below the water. Code St. Luke is, uh, I think, 4 below the water line, too. So I'll probably want to do uh, Code St. Luke style 6 here. That's. Well, 6 above here, so that's technically 7 overall. Maybe, may, no, maybe I will do. I might only do uh, 6 overall. So that, that's six overall. So that then I can have the bow shear and have that count as like six and a half. Um, this would be the same as the previous Candiac class, but not quite as much as a Cote St. Luke. Okay. So now that we have that shape, this is technically one block too far back. So, the, now the reason I built it the way I did was so that I could just kind of position that into spot. So that's its uh, proper spot, and then I want a wedge, I want a normal wedge, just like this. And then I need lead. Beam of three lead there. Alright, so that's our bow. And I need... Uh, okay, so we have the top waterline layer here. It's gonna have to slope back. And then this is kind of like where, the, where it changes. So... I'm trying to think about specifically how I want to do this. I might... Part of me is considering 4 meter, part of me is considering 3 meter for this section. 
I think I'll do three meter. And then uh, shrink it to a two meter up top when needed. I'll do two three meter and then do uh Hmm. I'll do one three meter and then a four meter. I'll do a double four meter. And then I'll start on the staggering. Okay. And then that will extend out a bit, so the shape should get a little bit better looking. Alright, so then a stern. I uh, want to do a little bit more. I mean, we have to curve stuff definitely back here. Like, this block's not going to stay. But I, I want to figure out uh, roughly what shaping the stern would have, you know, at about the waterline. I feel like with destroyers, you get a little bit more rounded of a stern, and especially because they're you they usually have like depth charges. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at like I should have an idea. I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at like this. You know what, let's do, let's do inverted two, then an inverted three, and then an inverted four. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's probably pretty accurate. Um, do that, and then we can do offsets instead. There's an offset for And then I think we'd have another Wait, that's actually a line. Uh that's a that's a very fat stern. So maybe not on that. So I'll do this, and then that. Then you, then you, then we can get one of these beams in, do another, what? Oh, I, I didn't fix it enough, I just reconstructed the exact same thing. I was supposed to delete that part too. That makes sense. All right, so four meter offset there. Then give me one of, actually, you know what? Give me that, then give me the four meter offset. And then give me another beam and another four meter offset on the side of that. And then I think we're good. Then we just need that one block there. All right, so that will be the Pincor class at the waterline. A little bit uh, fatter of a stern. Um, actually, I will go in and resolve that now. Okay, so we have one block there, and I'm going to move that block. Actually, I'm going to move it back to this section. Destroyers in general should have a little bit fatter of a stern, but, um... Yeah, there we go. A little better. That's a little bit better shaping. I think she will become a little bit more flat-sided as the, uh, waterline gets higher. Ugh. Okay. Pincor class time.
Time to sort out uh, how to build the lower hall. Then once the lower hall is built, um, if I'm still if I'm still up for it, of course, uh, it will be uh, machinery time. After, m well, yeah, machinery, and then, I mean, I probably also need, like, magazines and such. Okay, so I'm going to leave that layer there. I will have to uh, deco this, too. Actually, you know what? Let me do... Let's do a 3 to 4 meter inverse transition like that. No, let's not. Let's not. Because that suddenly makes everything way more complicated. Because that means I'm having to rely on uh, triangles, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just, I'm just going to do this instead. I'll probably have to rely on triangles anyways. Top portions. Once I have that in, those are a little sloped. Should look better. I would think. Although, I don't know, I might only need to do one triangle. Because then this could be an offset and that could be an offset. So yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm going to deal with annoying triangles, but I'll do it. Yay for triangle fun. Actually, let's let's get those triangles in now. Before Before I have to do any other pain with this. Uh, you know what? No. Go here. Add new decoration. Triangle generation. I need you color two. Alright. Hold up. Had that wrong. Alright, so I need... A to be brought forward, about 2.5. A to be brought up to about 1.5, I do believe. And then A to be brought that way. All right, B to be brought down. B to be brought forward. And then C to be brought up and uh, backwards. Okay, so that's triangle number one. And now we gotta add in triangle number two. Add new decoration. So triangle generation. So C. Um, okay, I need to move A to C's coordinates. So that's negative. So, okay, so A is now on C's coordinates. C now needs to move down by one. Back by one. Nope, wrong way back by one. And B needs to stay in the same spot. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I know what I, I, know what I need to do. C needs to move down by one more. And I don't need an additional triangle in here. Generate forward. And right backwards. Apply with mirror. There we go. Now that looks a lot smoother. I'm having to move my. Sorry if there's a little bit of noise. I'm having to move my hair out of the way. Actually, I'm going to mute the mic and just try to do a uh, full, like, take off my headset, put it on again. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're good. Um. What's happened is, in quarantine, I've not, like, bothered cutting my hair, so it's starting to get really long and really annoying. Um, having a haircut again is going to be so nice. 
But you know, it's something where we're not we're not taking chances. We're not taking risks. You know, we are we are not risking COVID. And honestly, it's prob. I mean, we'll probably get to a point when we'll risk COVID, but that would be when, you know, we feel like the vaccines, the vaccination strategy. That would be when we feel like the vaccination strategy is effective against the most modern variant, or if there is something else assisting in it too. Um, we're just not confident of that yet. I want uh four meter no no alloy four meter this is a four meter offset and then um up down so that should be negative point five and then your up down no your left right scaling should be two and apply that with mirror. Now I can take that piece, prefab it over here, and there we go. Now that looks a lot better sloped than it did before. Now at some point I'm going to have to move from this style to that style, and I think that's going to come sooner than I think. Actually, I think I could probably get away with it now, now that I'm past the initial bow. Um, now, thankfully, this one's a little easier to do than my typical one. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, that's pretty easy. And hopefully this should stop making this all look so purple. All right, so we do that. We have a two meter beam there. Um, then for this, actually, I need an inverted here. I need an inverted here. And hey, look at how much of the ship is now not purple anymore. I, yeah, okay, none of it's purple anymore. All of all of our blocks are now connected. Which is good. Okay. And this should hopefully be the bow section almost done. So I'm going to remove that real quickly. So then back here. I mean, I feel like we'd start with, like, that, that, and this based on the current hull form. Although, an interesting thought. That's, is that not doable? Okay, yeah, that, that piece wasn't actually doable. Uh, where is it? Where is the piece I'm looking for? Not this guy, it's this guy. I think that should go there. And eventually this will have to be made into a smooth piece, um, but it's so low in the ship that I don't care as much. It doesn't really ruin the aesthetics at all for me to do this. Actually, let's go to uh, 1 to 2 meter here. It's dead. And then this can be our 2 meter offset. And then this needs to be our 2 meter to 3 meter right here. There we go. This should be the bow hull form done. Alright, so now we need our stern hall form. 
Which is going to be a little bit more complicated, to say the least. So I'm going to get rid of just like four of those blocks now, and then I'm going to take a look at the stern, the underwater stern of the Candiac and Pin, or and uh, Cote St. Luke class. Just so I kind of know what I'm doing. I also need to modify these propellers to make them look better. Um, I have a better strategy for that. And that will happen at some point for all of these ships. All of them will be brought up to the same standard. Um, Alright, so I kind of do this and then that. Okay, and then for you, ah, pretty similar. Pretty similar stuff. Alright, so under the water line, I should probably go, probably start with like this. Actually, hold on. Yeah, probably a little bit more like that. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I can stretch this piece out. I guess I could use a 2 meter. Let's try that. Uh, Control X, add decoration, uh, alloy, 2 meter offset. Hopefully, that should work. I have both of them selected, so if I have the wrong one, who cares? Um... I think I do have the long, wrong one. So we want left, and then forward, backward, scaling two. Uh, yeah, that massively smooths things out. Oh, hey, look at how smooth that looks. That is smooth. Um. Okay, you know what? I will do a triangle corner here. I think that needs to be a triangle corner, too. Actually, I'm going to build it on the other side, because I think it'll be easier to build it here. Um... But this this piece right here is going to just get four meter offsets. Uh, two of them until you know I have to do other stuff with that. So I think it is now appropriate here. I'm gonna do a set of four meter beams. So that will kind of be where the rudder is placed. I guess the center beam will be removed, technically. And then, I guess we have a section which is going to look like this. And on the other ones, it kind of... There's a little bit of sharp bit at the bottom. Move it one back. Do that. And then... I'll do a 2 meter here. Okay, so now we are going to run into some slight issues. Is a stupid idea. Oh, do that. Get rid of that. One meter, two meter there. And then inverted two there. And that should get us uh, equaling that portion. Uh, that will have to be something I uh, add in a 
transit or add in a uh, decoration for to fix. That can be done. So my guess is that the spin block. Okay, I think the spin block for the uh, peller or not peller uh, rudder is gonna go here. So I will just put this on top. That will be where the rudder goes. It used to be the it used to be the case where I built my rudders, where I have this little control block set up. However, I've now realized that's not needed, and that there is a different way to set them up. So you can actually see the diff. So you can actually see that difference in strategy when you look at the Coat St. Luke's rudder and the uh, later Candyax rudder. How they are built a little differently in that regard. Okay. Let's start by doing this. Let's do that. And then double it down here and I am gonna have to jam up or a couple propeller shafts through this and that's gonna be a little annoying so at this point the lowest section is uh, gonna become just these beams you know what there's a one meter somewhere in here I think Let's just make that a little easier for uh, future me to uh, go about building. There we go. There we go. So if I need to replace that with lead in the future, I could do that far more easier than I could. Okay, so just to confirm, this here is going to need to be a triangle corner 2 meter. There's no way around that. And at that point, that's a 4 meter, that's a 4 meter. So that's probably an inverted 4. That's a normal 4. From one, uh, 2 meter beam here. And then this section's where things are going to get a little more complicated. So let's add in our piece. Add decoration. Um, what piece is that you're on? Uh, one meter, two meter, transition slope. Hold on. One meter to two meter slope transition. There we go. So now I've got both those pulled up. And then I probably need the 2 meter to 3 meter as well. So I'm just going to have that pulled up right now. So that's what that piece looks like. Actually, you know what? I know what piece I need here. So I am going to put that on, but you need to become a uh, alloy inverted. This guy? Right, two meter. There we go. Because that's not perfectly smooth, but that is a lot smoother than it could be.
And actually, the best part is I can take this piece here. Because it's 4 meter, and I have some of these. Uh, I have one of these right here. I can just put that there. And then that would be a 2 meter offset, and then this would be... Put that there, take you, turn you into the 2 meter to 3 meter slope transitioned. work. Um, almost, I put it on the wrong block. And this, I'll put a two meter offset here. You know what, let me just, how about I delete this? Grab you. Place you there. And then apply with mirror. Okay, yeah, that smooths out the hole far more than previously. And actually, I think something would look better in this spot right here. Maybe this would look better. Yeah, I think that would look better. Okay, so now one thing which is obvious is that this should just... Actually, let me make th make this all uh, sync up a little better. Just to make sure that th I'm being a little bit more part conservative here. There we go. A little bit more part conservative. Now we just gotta figure out how this transitionary section from here to here is gonna work. So it could go like that. Like, like that's the obvious piece to put there. But if I put that there, then it kind of has kind of has a little bit of a sharp curve, but I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. And I think for these guys, I need to do this. I mean, let me let me just realign these. I can build this a little bit more efficiently. So I think I need one, two, three. I'm gonna need some amount of uh, sloping there. So then you would need to go one, two before you'd hit this. Okay, I think this. I think this will work. So we can do that. We can do that, and then we're at a two meter. So then we start with the two meter there, and then we go to our three meter which we just place along here. And the reason I've left those two spots blank is I can just grab the two things from over here. So, like say this is our three meter piece. And that'll slope out way more nicely. And then our uh, two meter uh, slope should be right here. Actually, I did have one further back. I probably should have just grabbed it, but who cares? You know, this is already aligned. And man, oh man, other than me accidentally putting a three... a triangle three-piece down instead of a two-piece, yeah, that looks pretty solid. Um, okay, so the Preller shafts would probably wind up going through this piece right there. So I should probably leave that singular piece open. Um, although I will seal it up top and on the side. Technically, I'll put one right there for the moment. Um, now that it's in the water, I can add an air pump in on the inside of it, and our hull is floating. Okay, 
I need to use the bathroom, so uh, I will be right back. But yeah, Pincor, Pincor Hall is looking okay so far. Let me just quickly get that up. There we go. So yeah, be right back. Alright, I am back now, and this time I now have a cheese stick and some water to uh, hopefully help me get through this. Um, I've been giving myself, like, minor sugar headache or moderate, like, sugar headaches and sugar crashes recently, and it's not been fun. I should have less sugar. Um, but these help. These definitely help. Okay.
So, I think the next part I need to work on is the propellers and propeller shafts. Just because I want to get them out of the way. I think they use color 10. I'm pretty certain they use color 10. So that's... That's a very propeller-ish color. So I use, always use the uh, steam shafts for these, even though I use the fuel engines for the actual propulsion. In terms of actual propeller location, though, I might have to, uh... No, not might. I definitely will have to, uh... Mess with a couple of things. Like, reasonably. Reasonably, I should be able to put the propeller here. So what I'm going to do instead, is I'm going to take a couple of smaller transitionary pieces, like a 3 meter and a 2 meter offset. Remove this so no flooding can get in. And now that I have those in place, Add new decoration for meter offset. Um, and color one. My propeller isn't clipping through them much, so it looks like I've gotten away with that. Now it looks functionally identical to what it was before, but, um, you know, the propellers are a little bit further back than it would otherwise be. Which makes the ship a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, especially if I have to model one sinking, which I think I will, or I might need an image of that. Um, because one of them does get sunk during the war. Alright, uh, I need... where is it? Steam engines. Yes, yeah, steam engines. Medium shafts. What does a small 3 meter propeller look like compared to the... It's literally the same model. It's probably just a little bit functionally different. I wish the game had 2 meter propellers. Would that work? Oh, I've aligned this the wrong way. Oh wait, no, hold on, it just wasn't connected. Let's just try this, does this work? That works, okay, cool. Alright, so then we need our steam thing there. I need a medium shaft, a medium 2 meter sealed shaft. That's the first block it has to go through. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's take this, move it all forward a set there. So, medium 2 meter sealed there. That becomes a decoration. And I think yeah, I only need the decoration, so... Let's just do this. Um... Or more specifically, Mimic. Mimic, sorry. Not another decoration. I'm getting them confused already! There we go. So now that's through. And now, next job would be uh, putting uh, either more mimics or decorate, more specifically decorations. 
and then the rudder. So, the decoration I probably want is a, uh, oh lord, what is it? It is a alloy pole, a four meter long, uh, alloy pole in that color, scaled down a bit. How about we try 0.6 and 0.6? And I'll do... No, I'll keep that forward-backward scaling, like... Eh. Forward-backward scaling will get... A bit bigger, but I'll move it... Back slightly. Alright. A new decoration on this medium shaft. I want this to be... Uh, which, which block is it? There is a specific block I want. Actually, let me look at just some pictures of designs. Okay, yeah, this is this is what you'd do. This is, this is seriously what you'd do. Even though, even though the propellers are a little big, there's not really much helping that. Alright, it's under advanced, advanced cannons. Yes. Barrels. I want the bore evacuator. I want a red bore evacuator, and I want it to be longer. Um, I'll scale it down slightly. 0.5. That looks good. Apply with mirror. Apply that with mirror. I want a new decoration here. I want it to be another bore evacuator. I want it to be the other way around. I also want it to be, uh... Let's start with a 0 0.65 by 0 0.65. Okay, it's maybe a little big. Um, so forward, backward positioning, I will move that back one. And maybe go down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I think that's a little small. I'll do 0 0.55 and 0 0.55. And uh, apply with mirror. And then over here, I want to add a new decoration, but I will in just a moment. I'm going to... Eh, okay, okay, we'll put it... We'll... Actually, you know what? Mm, I need to think about this. I need to think about what sort of decoration I want in hydrofoil. No, 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 no. That's not going to texture well. Uh, how about we put in... I want to put in a wing piece of some sort. Maybe a wing one meter. I'll put in a wing one meter. like this guy. Um, scaling. All right, there we go. That looks fairly hydrodynamic. We'll make sure that those propellers stay on. Now, we need a spin block. That will go right here. Alright. 
No, I need sub objects. Yes. Spin turn block. Hello, time to build upside down, because that is fun. I'll actually probably use some wing pieces again to make the rudder look a little better. Alright, so... Three meters down, like so. Um, Could do this. Might do that. Oh, it might be better to do... What if... Mm. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. And that'll be part of my plan. I'll just kind of have a flat back to the rudder. If I can get a small curve on it, I will. Um I don't think I can. I could do like this and that, but no. It doesn't look great. So I'll just do that. I'm actually gonna take that and Place these two with this piece. Alright, so the rudder will rotate about here. And now, get me off of that. And, uh... What I want to do... I want to put this down here. And the rudder, uh, spin rate can... Or, Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Because these two blocks are interfering. Yeah, now I can do that. So, I'll have to get a little bit more clever with that section. But I will. I will. Actually, I might use some alloy there instead. And I'll still have that piece in there. I'll just uh, use some decorations to build off of it. Alright, so spin rate, or is it angle control? I think so. Uh, so... When yaw is given... Yeah, 2.0. Okay, I want a down slope, and I want a block. I should probably want a one meter down slope. That's going to be a little easier to work with. You know what? No, hold on. I want a wedge. So I don't want that, because that's all modded. Wedge alloy front. Okay, cool. That's what I want. Okay, so you... You're up, down, scaling. No, that scaling needs to go to 1.5. Your color needs to go to 1. Your up, down position needs to go to that. Your forward, backward position needs to go to there. And your left, right scaling needs to go all the way down. I'm going to copy these. I'm going to add a new decoration. I'm going to paste them. I'm going to switch you to an alloy wedge. And I'm going to bring your forward backward positioning down there. And that is how you build a rudder. Alright, so that's the rudder and prop shafts in now. Um, this is happening, how far am I into this build? Uh, not even one and a half hours. That's actually a really good time to have those in. This is going pretty quickly on this haul. Going like faster than my typical hauls. So, okay, I do need to fix this piece right here. Let's do that, let's do that. Add a decoration in. So, and think, okay, wedge... Alloy back. I need a wedge alloy back two meter. Okay. All right. So up down positioning point one forward backwards need to be point five. And now that's gonna do that stupid thing. So I do want to do left. Want 
yeah, it wants slightly more left-right scaling, and I think that should be good. And then over here, um, actually, you know what? Take this, copy, undo decoration, paste. I need you to be an alloy wedge front to... Hold on. Wedge alloy front 2 meter. Uh, I need to add a new decoration here. You need to be a lightweight alloy block. Your uh, forward backward scaling needs to go down to 0.5 and your left right scaling needs to go up to 01. Your forward backward positioning needs to be 0.25 back. Okay then. That is fixed now. Okay, so if I was normally just kind of going up here, I'd do this. So I'm going to start by placing this down. However, I very clearly don't want to do that. I want to at some point get it into that state. And I think... Another thought is that... I do it consistently. No, no, I can't. I can't get away with that. Two, and then that next one will be a three. Okay. Three meter offset there, and then I want... I can actually see a little line, kind of where that goes from 1 to 0 0.01. If you're really zoomed out, though, you're not going to notice it. Or maybe that could add a little bit more detail. You know, maybe that's something I need to do with ships. A little bit more detail like that. No, no name. Don't do that. That's going... That is exact... That is exactly how I would wind up building even more than I already have to. No. No, no, no. Don't do that, no name. Don't do that. That would be bad. That would be really bad. You don't... You don't want to... You don't want to get involved in making your From the Depths creations too complex. Your ships are designed to be mass-producible for a reason. Stick with it. Okay, this needs to be a 3 meter offset, this needs to be a 3 meter offset, this means that cannot be a 4 meter offset, and that cannot be a 4 meter offset. This has to be a 3 to 4 meter. This has to be a 3 to 4 meter. Okay, now we can do just constant 4 meter offsets here. Now, at some point, I am going to have to trim this down so that uh, the stern is like a half deck lower than the bow. If I look at my pin core drawing, yeah, it is like that. Okay. No, no, that's a St. Marie. Pin core is the same look, though. St. Marie's just probably a slightly modified pin core. <laughs> like, same, same hull, same superstructure, but like slight differences in armament. St. Marie's basically took one of the Pincor's guns and swapped it out for a torpedo tube, so. Okay, there we go. We got a bow. Got a nice bow shape. And now, let's head to the stern. Okay, so... This will be a deck lower, so we'll have a 3 meter there. Now, one thought is that I actually do an inverted 2 meter here. Which means I'm probably going to need to keep up the... I want to keep up the inverted 2 meters, but more specifically what I would want to do is uh, this. Oh, I know that's a 4. And 
then do a 2 meter offset and a 4 meter offset. And then that piece will have to be swapped out with something else. Okay, I'm not going to avoid this being four pieces. But otherwise it would have been five, so that is an improvement. And it's probably still a good idea for me to uh, do the general raise sort of strategy here too, but not on the next one. On the next one it'll become uh, more, you know, stable. Okay, so yeah, on this one we just do... Do, do, do. I don't know. I might still do it. I might, I might, yeah, I think I will still do this on a second piece here. And then I will have to uh, get a uh, slightly sloped piece. Okay, so there is current progress on the pin core class. Um, we'll have to divide some, or dis divide, no, decide some point to cut off the bow and uh, kind of bring this across. Um, but that will be when we have more done. What I want to do is I want to smooth out these sections. And the best way to do that is with uh, this right here. Let me uh, just get this oriented in a way. I will orient it this way. So... Now I can take this piece and just put it on here. And here. And here. And I'll put it on here, but I'm going to convert it into the 2 meter offset. And apply that with mirror. That looks a lot smoother. And then in terms of having this on the bow, I can't do that. So on the bow, we are going to have to get more complicated. And this is where that little triangle generator thing comes in. When I bring out the triangle generator, it scares me. Alright, so, let's start. Add new decoration. Triangle generation. Uh, give us color 3. Head to the right. Alright, so. A, Y, 0 0.5. A, X. Uh, I'm trying to give 2. No. Positive 2. Nope. Negative 1. Positive 1, 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, nope, 0 0.5. Okay. That one I think I want to be more like 2.5, right? Yes, okay, A is in the correct position, C needs to go up 1. Wait, no. Then out one. It's wrong. The right one. Yeah, okay, there we go. It needs to go back one as well. B is already in the correct position, so hello, give me give me that triangle. Oh hey, hold on. It doesn't work. Do you guys remember what piece it was on? Oh, this piece. Okay, cool. Alright, so C needs to be brought 
forward and in one. So that's the triangle we need to generate. I don't think that slope changes. No, it doesn't. Now apply that with mirror, add a new decoration, and now we need a triangle uh, coming the other zone. So what I might do is I might just do an embed to the left and shift A, because C and B are already in the right location. So A... A needs to go negative. No. Is it? Yeah, it doesn't need to go negative. Alright, it needs to go negative one on the Y, and then on the Z, it probably needs to go negative uh, 0.5. And there we go. So that's our first set of triangles done. Hooray! Now we have this set here. Set number two. And then set number three, I'm just not going to bother with. Actually, set number three. Okay, there's a way to do this. It's going to be annoying as hell, but there's a way to do this. That being said, I am going to have to do it twice more. It's going to be annoying. It, it can be done. It'll be annoying. It might not be worth it. I don't think it'll be worth it. I'm not, I'm not going to bother with that one. That's going to be hardly noticeable anyways, just due to how close it is to the waterline, how there's a color change right there. Um, all right, so... That's a three meter, that's a three meter, which is why this is consistent. So, oh, that's a consistent thing there. So I think I want to do add new decoration, triangle generation. All right, so I'm going to bring C forward. That is right on the spot it needed to be. I will bring B forward one. Uh, then A, I think A needs to go out one more. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was in the right location. I think A might have already been, no. I think it does need to be out one more. And then back further. I guess that is the line, that's the triangle we're looking at here. That didn't fix anything. Okay, technically it did fix something, but it didn't fix the overall issue. Because I see what the problem is. I know what triangle we actually need to fit in here, so... Hold on, no, that's not what I want. What we want is a decoration right here. I want this to be an alloy 3 meter offset. Look like that. All right, there we go. And now we have the actual triangles we need to uh, replicate there. Now, actually, one thing I want to do is I want to turn off camouflage for that pattern. I should probably save that on the original design. See, that helps. That helps me identify them things. So I think this block is here. Uh, paint all three. Then you guys, is it here actually? Yeah. Paint all three. 
Oh yeah, paint all three. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now it is uh, time for a triangle. Actually, if I'm going to be in this spot, I should probably have a smaller block selected. Like an, an exhaust like this. Alright, so. Triangle generation. So A needs to be moved forward a bit. I think to there? No. To here. Right on that one. Maybe. I think I am. I think that needs to be a 0 0.5. Yes, A is in the right spot. Alright, so C... I think C needs to be brought forward. So let's bring that down to one. Let's bring B down to zero. So B is in the right position. C is in the right position. A is in the right position. Does that cover the entirety of that triangle? So. Yeah, okay, I think that is the triangle I'm looking for. Alright, so take this, uh, color it with three, apply with mirror. And that's our uh, bow shaping done for the pin core. Man, pin core is coming along well. Ah, I was hoping, I was, I'm expecting to go for maybe about three, four hours here. And, I mean, I'm about... About halfway through the live stream, and I've already got a uh, nice, nicely shaped hull. So the next step is machinery. I'm gonna remove the uh, water air pump. So uh, actually, that might make us a little more stable for the moment. And I'm just gonna not solve objects. I'm just gonna go to my prefabs and uh, take my standard machinery. Okay, spin core. And this is also true of the Saint Mary. Uh, they have two funnels. There's one kind of forward and one kind of aft. So. I'm just gonna use, uh, I just have like a standard set of engines, fuel engine Canada probably. Um, I think this, yeah, I think this is my destroyer engine. Oh, what does fuel engine larger look like? That's a little more compact actually, I might use, yeah, I'll probably use these guys. Alright, so, based on pictures I've seen of destroyers, yeah, they are, they are basically just hull engine. Um, imagine you have oil to the sides of this, or oil tank somewhere in the bottom of the boat, I don't know. Alright, so, yeah, I'll put an engine, but the other thought is put them sideways like this. That's probably what I'll do. So we get more engine in. These guys are going to be fast. Alright, so... I think the forward funnel... would be here. Would serve that set of engines. And then our aft funnel would probably serve that set of engines. Okay, that's our engines. Uh, let me get fuel put in here. Resources, uh, fuel boxes, because, you know, these things actually do need fuel. Alright, so then the fuel rooms would probably be like this. And I'll place uh, another set of fuel like that forward of these engines. So that we do have ample... Well, I made these one block too tall. But, you know, we have ample fuel supplies. Actually, you know what? I might get rid of this this set here. 
place some lightweight alloy in here. Well, actually, to be honest, um, go a little higher because how these guys are shaped. Although, I don't know, I might, I might cut this off at three just to make uh, duplicating sections a little easier. Pincor in the St. Marie class. Because that's where fuel goes, ammunition. Okay, we need an engine room and an ammo room. So I'm just gonna take out one set of fuel tanks here. And then convert this into an ammo room. Okay, yeah, that'll be an ammo room. And then this will be our engine room. I think here is where I'm gonna have the uh, dividing section. And that will be a stern. Um, I guess I'll just do that, make that a little, little easier. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's some internal subdivision. Alright, so we're going to need an AI room in here, which will probably be... Okay, that'll be ammo. Okay, that, yeah, it'll be an ammo room. Then... I really want to make these four high, I might make them three high. I think, I think I'm going to make them all three high. So let's do that. Let's just swap these out. I think that was one of my other destroyers, like, reloading for some reason, or having its guns be ready. And then this should make it a little easier to put a layer on top of this. I'll keep it four high on the engines. Um, but then here, I'll make it three high. I'll get that center section filled in later. Okay. What I should do is a four, three, a three, and a one. And then up here, uh, I'll decide what to do with that later. Those can be like that. Okay, so that, that will be the ammunition room. The AI room will be here. then past this point, I'm probably going to have another dividing room here. Alright, so that's our initial subdivisions. That's good, our hull subdivisions. Uh, let me get the ammunition in. I'll probably also need general resources. I might actually put those above the engines, maybe. How much ammunition do they have? Only 130 rounds each. I probably shouldn't be having... Well, I would say I probably shouldn't be having that much ammunition, but, you know... Things have a lot of guns. I'll do that for the ammunition spaces. Hey, I made the aft ones... Uh, six wide. I guess I'll store more of the ammunition aft, then. I 
I'll maybe put some of the general resource... I'll put the ge some of the general resource storage in the engine room. And for the engine room, I'm just going to use uh, decorations. Uh, props, specifically. Right? Yeah. Machinery. I don't know what this piece was originally added in the game for. It's clearly for something, but I'm just going to use this as, like, fake engines. You know. Man, I remember the when the ammo processor did work. And those were needed. Alright, material storage. I should probably just jam some of that in here so that uh, we can actually store some materials. Although, you know, maybe maybe I'll have that be the back half of the engine. You know, like a locker large or something. Um, a couple of uh, tanks next to it. Actually, you know what? If I'm doing this, um, I should probably do like that. There we go. That gives us some actual resource storage. I don't think I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to remove these two so that this air pump can pump out the entire section. When I seal all these up. It's thankfully not designed to be traversable, so... I don't have to care about being able to traverse it. Okay, she is floating a bit high out of the water now. That's good. Alright, the AI room. I need to get AI in here. Uh, sub-objects mode. No, no, not sub-objects. I need, uh, prefab mode. Uh, where is it? I want main AI, I think. Yeah, main ship AI. I'll have that be over there, and then I'll have a... Uh... You know what? I'll rotate it this way and put it about here-ish. And then I'll uh, get a... Uh... What is it? Secretary? Oh, uh, yeah. AAAI. That's... AAAI. Yeah, that's what I want. That would be the AI for the uh, anti-aircraft guns. Which will probably be stuck here so that in the future, um, right about here, I can stick in uh, how the shells are going to be designed. Now this does mean that an explosion of this will most certainly take out the AI of this ship, but it's not a campaign ship, so who cares? If it was making a campaign ship, it would be way smarter, uh, way better built than this. Okay, there we go. That's uh, first deck done. Uh, forward, and then we'll do it astern as well. We'll say I'm worried that, that machinery could cause a bit of a list. Well, it doesn't appear to right now, and if it if it does, I can always ballast it out with some additional lead. Just make the lead on the bottom a little less, you know, even. Although, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, there we go. Alright, save vehicle as uh, the pin core class. Alright, so then... Okay, so this would be the deck level here. Um, I'm gonna pipe these a little bit more interestingly, I think.
But let's let's just get some uh, internal subdivisions going on here. All right, you should probably have one. I guess that's all just going to be one room back there. Okay, and then... Okay, so yeah, we'll have a deck at this level. And then we'll have another deck at a higher level. Alright, let me get the water thing down. I have that on six. Okay, cool. So, boop, 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 boop. Don't need you, don't need you. Boop, boop. And I need one in you. And actually, I'll probably uh, split this room into two as well. Let's split the room into two, I think, here. And get another water thing down there. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to uh, go to my en or fuel engine setup, take the exhausts, and chain the exhausts together. Although they might not come up at the exact right spot, um, I think it'll be okay if I don't bother. And then this needs to be, I think, a five-way. Alright, so now all those exhausts will go up. And then I think for these two, I actually just want to chain them together. And uh, make a meet in the middle. Which would, I presume, be with uh, two sections of two meter pipe with a junction pipe going up the center. That looks pretty appropriately placed where the funnel should be. I do need to fit a set of torpedo tubes between them. Um... But, you know, that's what I should be thinking about. Okay. So with that done, prefab mode, uh, I need... Uh, where is it? I need to start doing these guys, the 4-meter alloy wood slope. So I'm going to start on the stern and then do them on the bow. And I need to do this before I start placing all the wood planks down. Um, one there, one there, one there, and I think I need a 1-meter here. And the 1-meter is the wrong way around. Now over here, um, I will still place the one meter in, or, well, okay, technically I need a two meter here. I will still place these down, although, actually I need a three meter here, although they are likely to get, uh, covered up. Not likely, just, actually, not just likely, um, that forward set is definitely gonna get covered up. These aft ones might not. Okay, so I want to do that just so that when I uh, place all the wood down, everything syncs up very nicely. So, okay. This one, I'm going to do something interesting. This is going to be a six piecer. There we go. And now, uh, we have... Is this filled out, like, perfectly? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think we nailed that. Okay, there we go. Um, I need to erase whatever sections these are above. So, here. And then back here, presumably. So that uh, I can stick those through and have them go to funnels. And then I want my forward section, 
which is filled out almost perfectly. I just need to remove this piece. With that, get a nice little lightweight uh, alloy. Oh my god, I didn't place. I thought I placed it. I clicked to place it. I must have been a little too fast. There we go. Oh, one thing I should do. One thing I should do is I need to subdivide this bit a little bit better, too. So, um, let's just place a section here. And another section. Okay, we're going to need one at the... We're going to need one there. I think here might be good as well. And then just pump each of these sections dry. So real more realistically, this would this would section up here uh would be flat, and as such this would be one deck. And more specifically, there's gonna be an angled uh, portion of it, so you would get more headroom the further forward you moved in the ship. Uh yeah. But you know, this is from that stuff is weird. Anyways, this is how the pin core is currently floating. A little slightly high out of the water, which is how I want it right now, because we still have to put everything on top of the deck. But man, this is actually coming along. It's getting built. Getting a good stretch in. Before I uh, keep going with this. There we go, that's good. Okay, I think I want to get the bow shear on. So I'm going to rip the bow shear straight from uh, Candiac here. Sub-objects mode, save what I'm currently building on. I'm just going to call you temp. And save over temp. Because I know what the previous temp was, I can save over the previous temp. I'm, I'm certain of that. Uh, if I look at these... If I do look at the actual images I have of these destroyers, I do get a little bit of bow shear. Um... But I might want to actually stretch this one a little further back. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think so. I think I am. I guess the Lahardi didn't have it, but the other ones did. Some of them have it a little bit more forward. Some of them have it starting a little bit more back. I think a little bit more back is probably more American. Wait, is that on a... Oh, that's on a piston. I screwed that up. Hold on. I want this piece. That should be called temp. And now that's easier. That's going to be easier to work on. So then I believe this section would be here ish. And this also allows me to control it however I want. The Candiac only has a little bit. I might want to start back, like, here. I'll start here. Alright, so. Now, we can go to this piece. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen it, tighten it, lengthen it, take that, delete you, backspace, reactivate connection checks, unbackspace, delete the two anchor chains, delete all untethered. So now I have this prefab. Which I want to move a little bit more forward. Probably to here. They probably won't have it angled up quite as much as they currently do. Let me just do that real quickly. Angle control. I'm going to bring you down to 3 degrees. I guess we're now slightly. I guess we're now more like 117 long, effectively, rather than 116. Um, 
Who cares? It'll still look about right. Alright, so in terms of our slope transitions, this doesn't quite match up with what we need. We need like a one and a half now. Well, let me uh, also make sure that these actually connect again. Okay, so the good news is, this block here is pretty much aligned. Um, these start unaligning pretty quickly, though. Because this goes... Is that 4 meter, 3 meter, 2 meter? go on the original ship. That's 4... Yeah, okay, that is 4, 3, 2. So up here, I do probably also want to do 432. That would be where a 2 normally is. That is a small problem. I'm going with, with this. Yeah, that doesn't help. I need, like, an additional piston to push this forward slightly. Actually, I probably have to get rid of that piece and uh, swap it out for a different, or for a uh, mi mimicked one. Okay, this is going to get painful again. Unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to have to do a one and a half section, I think. Right. Decoration. Alloy, three meter offset. Right, yes. Pitch, no. Roll. Color, three. Up, down, scaling, no. No. Left, right. Point five. Up, down, position. Then I'd have to do a slope underneath that. And that's going to have to be a uh, decoration, or a mimic, definitely. Alright, so, delete, shrink down to nothing. Alright, so, take that, take that there, uh, we're going to give him a 2 meter. And apply with mirror. Actually, I'm going to stick that there, and then you are going to become a uh, alloy wedge. Alloy wedge back, two meter, wrong way. No, no, alloy wedge back one meter. Have that here? Oh, wedge alloy. I don't. Wedge alloy back one meter. Is not at all in the right position. Alright, so reset you. I'm gonna see which one of those I need it on. I need it on this one. And then you can be a wedge alloy front one meter. Okay. Um, apply, apply with mirror. We'll add that, but... Yeah, 
a three meter to four meter. No, a three meter to four meter slope. What if I did one of these instead? I think I think the offset's better. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't change the bottom and uh I'll hop out of the way. Okay, so you need to be an alloy four meter offset. Then that gets applied with mirror. But then this guy this guy uh I'm gonna need that to point how about point oh oh one? You're a little bit further out. So then you are going to have to go... Okay, you know what? Let's take you. Let's shift you down here. No, wait, no, that was a bad idea. Delete. Delete all untethered. Alright, so we want... Uh, mimics. So mimic alloy. No, not down slope. Uh, triangle corners. Okay, so I want. I do want the triangle corners like this. So I'll mirror that data transfer. No, it is nice to be getting all the painful work done first, so that uh, when I'm done with this, I don't have to focus on it anymore. Okay, so you should be alloy wedge. Wedge alloy front one meter. There we go. That should make that transition a little smoother. So we got that there. So I want, I want to take this, copy it over there. Okay, so wedge. Let's try to wedge alloy back three meter. There we go. So that should... No, no, you need to be a two meter. There we go. That that aligns perfectly. And then we can take... I'll take you, put you there. Um, let's triangle. Okay, what's the piece called? What is the piece called again? I've already forgotten. Inverted. Okay, cool. Alloy inverted. Okay, I don't know which buttons I have pushed to do that. I, I don't know which buttons are causing all the lines. If somebody could help me out, which which button uh, toggles 
buoyancy, I presume, because whatever that button is, I've accidentally hit it, and I'm not sure which one it is. Are we moving? Receiving. Turning off. Thought I saw us move. Um. All right, so I want alloy inverted triangle. I'm gonna need gonna need all of these. I'm pretty certain, but I think first of all I'm gonna need this. All right, so now we have that. I will have to slip that or swap that to a uh, mirrored. Module. And now this needs to be, uh, I think, reader. Your data transfer. And now uh, select mirror mesh and select mirror mesh. All right, so that does get a little bit better of uh, blending. Um, so now we have an interesting uh, issue where, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna take this up down. We'll do this. We'll start we'll start with this. And then on the next one I might be able to get by with something a little bit more normal than this kind of half measure. And then right here, on add a new decoration. Alloy down slope one meter. Um, actually, no, no, no. I want that to be normal. It's just its uh, position has to be lower. Now apply that with mirror. I don't need more of those. It's just not going to make any difference. It's already merging. Yeah, it's already merging with this, and at this point isn't visible. And I'm having issues with my hair. Let me uh, take a moment to fix that. I'm just going to mute my mic. Uh, there we go. That is better. Part of me is like, do I want to try to get someone in chat? Or do I not? Because I am live streaming, and that might be a little bit more fun if I have someone else here. But I don't know. Okay, so I probably can swap to a one meter strategy now. Because that doesn't look terrible. Well, it does have that little clipping issue, so... This is going to have to become a... Uh, We're going to decoration here. Being said, it does have a weird point of merger, so I probably do need to keep the uh, weird one and a half meter strategy. Like this. Well, that's now moving a full block down, so I think I do want to swap to the uh, con more conventional strategy here and uh, just get this to work. The next one... probably be there. Okay. That's probably just close enough that I don't really care. Um, okay, so Mimics. Uh, I need Mimics. I need... What are they? I now have so many blocks here, it's hard to remember which one's which. I need the Alloy 4 meter... Uh, transition? No. Uh, alloy 4 meter offset. 
I need to take this and which which scale? This one. Do that to it. Um take that. Paste another one probably there. Do that, do that, do that, do that. And then take these pieces and just... Use, use them like that. So then put one there. Okay, so now I need to get the 4 meter alloy wood slopes in. Actually, you know, I should probably remove that piece. And uh, recognize that I did not mirror data transfer that piece. And there we go. I think we have a nice uh, slope bow with that. It's a little odd. It's a little strange looking. But I think once we have more of the ship done, it'll look proper. Um, especially uh, due to how we'll probably construct the center line of this. Which is why it's looking a little awkward right now. So Pincor has had four... Okay, Pincor has had quad launchers. So similar uh, similar to the other classes. Alright, so I want to grab... These are... Short ones from Lethbridge, right? Um, they're, they're Lethbridges, but they're massively shortened. This ship is Candiac, right? Yeah, okay. Sub-objects... Save, uh, do that. Sub object save. Um, I, cause I do want the same anchor chains. I think that'll look fine. Oh, this is a little uh, strangely pointy. Oh, I see what's going on. I see why this looks weird. I wouldn't say that perfectly fixed it, but it did help. I think that was... One of the main reasons it was looking kind of strange before. Alright, sub-objects mode. I need the anchor chains uh, for Candiac and... Probably don't have them in the right place. But don't have them in the right file, but who cares. So... Anchor chain left, Candiac should probably go there. And then anchor chain right, Candiac should uh, probably go there. I think I need to uh, angle control these guys out a little more, like five degrees each. Other way, negative five. Actually, I'm going to do negative eight and uh, positive eight. Actually, these are probably a little too far back. I'm going to take this and drag it too forward. Alright, so angle control. Um, let's set you to 6. No, let's set you to 8. 
Not 68. Negative 8 on that one. Okay, that looks pretty well positioned, I think. I'll remove these bits here. And then, yeah, the anchor chains should be able to be placed just below that, I would assume. If I look at uh, destroyer models, it does look like uh, anchor chains are a little bit far back, actually. Yeah, I probably want them even more forward than this. Okay, yeah, that looks more proper. Uh, so I think this I'm going to set to 5. Instead. And, uh, yeah, just 5 on each of them. Ah, uh, 6. 6 might do a little better. There we go. So that's the anchor chains in. I mean, this is a really early stage of construction to have the anchor chains on the ship in. So I'm happy with how fast it's going. I am going to use the same uh, dual-purpose five... or uh, dual-purpose uh, five-inch turrets I have for uh, my other destroyers, so let me find those. Although I do want to repaint them to uh, paint five, so that would be the five-inch one Canadian... Uh, DD dual purpose. Probably these guys. Okay, technically. Technically, they start out with these and then they get refit with the other model. Actually, you know what? Move me off of that. Okay, okay, you know what? Options. Uh, key mapping. What, what did I press? What did I press? Okay, why am I... Why is my options been a little small? I don't know. Alright, so build, decoration, or detection, view, rotate, copy, build picker, I'm a build. Okay, permabuild is enables mode where you're either placing blo new blocks in every available position or removing existing blocks from every filled position. That's interesting. That was it. Physics. Alright, so. I'm going to need to remodel this turret slightly. All right, so let, let's go in and remodel the turret. So I'm, I'm swapping to color 5, first of all. So we're painting this all color 5, first thing. And then I will paint the guns additionally. Or I'll add an additional little thing to the guns. Why is that not changing color?
There we go, now it's changing color. I had some weird issues with from the depths behaving like this. Alright, so this will be the turret they initially get. Um, but it will eventually be swapped out for the uh, better model. Um, I know that's the model that uh, Candiac here has as well. Oh, Candiac does have a slightly improved model. Hold on. Um, but these guys need to be painted five. Except for two, got one of those wrong, which need to be painted what color? Six. Alright, so then, sub objects mode, save what I'm building on, 5 inch times 2, D, our Canadian DD, dual purpose actual. So now, my uh, reconfigured turret is what I will place down. Oh, okay, it's still having that glitch. That one didn't. One thought is I move this guy more forward. I think that's an appropriate position for that turret. I'll just have to add an additional mounting for it. And I will have to take these turrets and swap them out on some other classes later on, um, which have the older looking models. It's amazing how tiny these uh, five-inch turrets are. Like five-inch turrets should be significantly bigger than what I have here, but I've been so compressed for space that I can't really do much about it. Um, I might have the turrets slightly elevated. I mean, she's gonna need some depth charges. Does she have? Okay, she does have an increased depth charge storage, so that'll be like uh, Coat Saint Luke's. So each of those will be elevated a half deck. Um, a stern. I mean, I guess Coat St. Luke's after it is elevated half deck. A stern, too, to better fire over the uh, extra depth charge racks. Fincourt will be refitted with the uh, auto loading 5 inch turrets. Okay, so, let's actually copy over the depth charge racks. I don't have a flag on the Candiac class. Got one on the Cote St. Luke. Um, might be, might be a case where I put one astern, I don't know. I'll have to decide where the Candiac gets one eventually. Alright, so there's the depth charge assembly. Mounted a stern. Delete that piece too. So let's grab the additional racks here. Like this additional depth charge storage. So I think that's there. Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so that should definitely grab it. I can just delete everything I don't need.
Should be there. That's a little bit better of a location. Alright, so I probably wanted to take this turret and move it back a little bit. So it is firing just a little bit over the depth charge racks. And then take this turret and also move it back a bit. So it is super firing over that other turret. Alright, so now that we have that in, uh, I need the torpedoes, and I'm just going to be using the same old, same old model of torpedoes I've been using, so eventually I will swap these out, but that's just not today. So I believe these would be Canada Modern, um, a more modern model of torpedoes, so one, two, so we probably have a set there. And then we'd probably have a set about here, I'm thinking. Because I think I'll probably bring this a little bit forward for its funnel. <laughs> oh my god, how is this, like, looking properly spaced right now? This, this should not be happening. Okay, you know what, let's, let's start building up the superstructure a little bit. So I gotta get this uh, turret supported on something. So its uh, turret block is there. Um, that means that I probably want like this. Yeah, I think so. Um, although, probably gonna do this and then just kind of taper it back here. So what happens if I turn this turret? That doesn't really leave the mount, so I think that's okay. Doesn't significantly. <clears throat> What time is it now? Okay. I'm getting close to that three hour mark. Um, closer than I expected, to be honest. Not quite there yet, so I still got some time to go. No, here's what we do. Is I go to you, and I just grab this. Because I already have this structure kind of built. then I take this structure, place it here. Then I do the same back here. I'm going to move this door down a block. Alright, so free paint all of this. No, 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 just leave these fences on three. 
won't make that much of a difference in the end, and uh, painting the fences is uh, hell to do, so I don't care as much. There are... Okay, so that's that block. That's that. That's that. That block probably shouldn't be there. These guys shouldn't be there either. I'm just gonna take prefab and min minimize it all the way down even though I'm not gonna use it yet. There. There you are! Okay. Why is that not painting? Not there? Oh, that's the alloy slope. Oh, oh, you're a mimic, okay. Not a mimic, a decoration. That makes more sense. That's about here, right? Yeah. Actually, this door I might keep in position, because I think uh, for this block I am just going to do something like this. But, you know, this is going to become a pedestal of sorts. It won't permanently stay up here. Alright, so do that, do that. Boop. Boop. Then... Boop. Oh, no. Where is that piece? That piece is there. Okay, cool. Then we got that piece there. That piece on this side also needs to be... Uh, it's color fixed. Oh yeah, that one actually has a gun controller in it. I'll have to put a gun controller in here at some point, too. Okay, that gets me that little, uh... flash protection thing. It's not as extreme as I'd like it to be. But it's there. Okay, so then... Um... Guess we do get a little platform back here. Maybe it's... Best if I end the gun platform like this? Then... We get something like that. I don't know, maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do... Because that probably has to be like that. And this just kind of goes forward. You know where the torpedo tubes are? part of me which is like, maybe I should just get this ship built in a single session, because I'm not that far off from doing that. Alright, so that's the second torpedo tube. The second funnel would be here, in this area. So this need, does need to stretch through the second funnel. I think that covers the second funnel. I feel like the point at which this ends is probably maybe about here-ish. So I could, part of me which would want to do that, but I need to put a door in. So that kind of uh, throws away my plans. And a staircase. So 
to that. Uh, no, here. We'll do a three. It would be here, I think. Actually, that's a pretty good spot for it. Is that a good spot for it? I think that's a good spot for it. So it would go there, but we need a door. So our door probably went on the outside or in the inside. Um, we're gonna need to get a couple K guns on this. So maybe on the inside, or maybe on the outside. Eh, let's get it on the outside then. I think we have enough room. Although, do that. Change color five. I want that painted color five. And then color three, I want. Um, but you know. Ideally, the ship would have something like this. Okay, yeah, pin core class is coming along well. Uh, let me save the vehicle again. Uh, we can go to this. We can put some wood down. Actually, wait, we need to subdivide all this. And I need to make sure that the funnels actually go through. That is going to be an issue. Let's get the funnels in. We should probably get the funnels in right now. Alright, so. In terms of the funnel. I think I'm going to need to do this. I'm just going to... How do I want these shaped? So I'm going to want them straight up and down. If we look at Cote St. Luke's... Okay, Cote St. Luke's are, uh... Something like that. Okay, we don't have any torpedo reloads. It's good to know. So, I probably want, like, a... For this one, I probably want, like, a... That, and then... Maybe this? Is that what the Cote St. Luke has? Oh, no, I see what the Cote St. Luke has. To make it a little bit better shaped. It's got that in this. As it's a uh, larger funnel. But that being said, what I am going to do is I'm going to convert this into a 3 meter and move this one block forward to about here-ish. Okay, so then the deck gets put on top, or put on top of this, and uh, we'd have a piece go like that, we'd have a piece go like that, and a piece go like that. And then over here, this would just be a, uh, she'll probably just do the rounded funnel like that, so then... Okay, technically I will make this look a little bit more uh, splayed out like I did this one. Um, so... I guess I'll do... That. This. That. And that and that. But when we're... When we're going up an extra step... Um, I'm not gonna be, not gonna be doing this quite as, or, I'm, I'm, when we go up next extra step, it's just gonna be a normal funnel. Uh, probably a rounded one, while as the front one won't be quite rounded. Which will be a little, little strange. A little bit of a weird aesthetic, uh, shift. Okay, so that will be our forward funnel. And then... Our aft funnel, I am just gonna rip directly from, uh... Candiac here. Where are these put? There's the mimics.
Yes, I think that's it. Why did I do delete all untethered when I could have just deleted them all there? I don't know. Well, anyway, we'd probably go about here. Um, I think I need to make these bigger. Move them. Should I add an appropriate height above deck? Might be one block too high. I'll probably have to shift it down. Uh, smoke generator. No, hold on. So, advanced positioning. Um, forward, backward should be. Okay, smoke generator actually. Should probably be moved. Here. And uh, let me just make sure that this still works. Um, and what I'm doing still works. Okay, you know what? Hall pipe. Corner pipe. You know, you just need to be straight pipes up. Okay, so that exhaust is going through the ship, or going out of the ship. That's good. That means that that smoke generator is being held in place. And then you, I think I will have the smoke go here and then or the exhaust go up through there and I'll work on that size later um, technically I probably will get rid of that straight pipe and just move this down a block prefab it there alright so now I gotta go to this piece and I've got to start editing these. So maybe 3.02? On that one, yes. That works. I think I dupl yeah, I think I accidentally duplicated that decoration. Alright, so then, you. You're currently 2.95 and 2.95. I think I need to move you out a bit more. I'll do 3.55. And then, uh, bottom decoration. I'll just do like two, two seven. And then this stack here has to be painted white for now. Eventually that white color will become camouflage. It's just, if, if I want to have a two-tone scheme on a ship, I want to just have the ability to quickly put a two-tone scheme on it. In the meantime, though, this is actually somehow working. Like, way better than it should. Even if I am doing, like, weird half-block steps. Okay, so we got that. We have the forward funnel in... I'm gonna save the vehicle now. So forward funnel location is proximate. Aft funnel location is in. Uh, what I want to do is I want to do some internal subdivisions here. 
even though this is in the superstructure, then right here would be the best place to put another one. And I do need to put some uh, AI control in some sections, but I just don't care enough yet. I'll do that later. Should probably wind up marking which chips don't have AI control and which ones do for a uh, later reference. Guess I'm just not bothering as much. Alright, so then. Boop. Boop. And boop. You know what? Remove those alloy beams. Screw it, just do this. This is already looking really good, though. Okay, and then, yeah, we can put the bridge on top of that. I some thought about moving that down by half a block. I think I have to leave it up there, though, just due to how that forward gun position is. It just gives the gun some nice room. Okay, so it, we are going to have to put 2k guns on her. And she has her increased depth charge storage, so we could. I, I might get the K guns on right now. Just get that uh, complication out of the way. She will need a couple of boats. Um, we can probably stick those right here. And just getting these complications out of the way immediately is going to solve so many additional issues or so many uh, potential later issues. All right. So. Okay. So that's. You know what? Length or width. Probably want like width, maybe four. We'll do this. Okay. So I think I want this, right? I see what I did wrong. I need uh, one more block of height. I think that's a good location for the K guns. And then there'd be an additional set of uh, anti-aircraft guns over here. I will need four anti-aircraft directors. That's going to be the hard part. Um, uh, ooh, where do I put four? Well, usually on these ships, usually on the destroyers, I have smaller anti-aircraft directors. It's these things. So yeah, I could have two in the funnel. Um, this one only had two. So I could have two in the funnel, like put one on a... Put a rear, put some form of a rear superstructure here, put one on it, and then have uh, one on the forward superstructure um, somewhere. Or, you know, two on the forward superstructure, two in the funnel, that might work.
do feel like this is probably too wide. Um, but I think I'll stick with it. I, th I think it would be better to uh, have people be able to walk around the torpedo tubes. It's close enough to the in-game model anyway, and the in-game model is relatively pre-generated, so... I think it's relatively pre-generated. Oh, I might, I might, I might have designed that out now. I think that ma that's still going to match close enough to uh, the game model on the top of the screen. No. Okay. What now? What now? Oh yeah, I have to fix the K-guns on the other side. Select the mirror meshes, there we go. There's part of me which just wants to go for the completed destroyer here. Well, I feel like I have to use the bathroom and eat. Probably isn't. Let me get on. You know what? Oh yeah, boats, boats. I want to get the small boats on the side too. Just get everything which could potentially cause issues done with. Um. I mean, even yeah, even the other destroyers did have some form of boat. Although I don't know. I might want to go with a little bigger one. A little bit of a bigger one here. I might do that. I might intentionally do that. Uh, go with a new model of boat. One I haven't really done yet, or one I haven't built yet. So, yeah, let's do that. All right. So, good news is I'm getting a little bit better with uh, decorations. So let's use a mimic alloy. I'll imagine it's here. I might want to do like a two step for this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about something intriguing design choice, but I need to find the right part for it. Something to just make this boat look a little bit better than any of the other boats I've made. Or any of the other little boats I made for this. I wonder if this I wonder if there is an acceptable piece that exists. There's probably not. Uh but I'm I'm gonna check. Gonna check anyways. And in multiple locations. Or I feel like I might just use the same piece I was going to use twice. I might just do that. I, I will just do that. Alright, so. Actually, you know what? What, uh, what color do I usually use for the lifeboats? Okay, so this is 11. Uh, standard lifeboat color is 16. Um... Okay, so 16 for that. I feel like there's a little, like, top bit for the light boats I usually have. It's not... I have to spawn in a cruiser to get that. Hello, CA Ottawa. I'm gonna check what color that part of your lifeboat is. And this this was what I was uh, this is what I built I think yesterday. Technically day before yesterday at this point. Fifteen. Fifteen's that color. Okay, so let's just 
Okay, so that one is 16. I assume this one is 16 too, yeah. Um, I'm gonna just place another one here, another one here with the other two colors, so 15 and 11. So I can just grab them when needed. Alright, so dish piece. What do I want this to be? That's a little too big. Um, could do five. I think that's good. Be a little fat for a lifeboat. Or not a lifeboat, but... You know, a ship's boat. Little... The thing that the ships will use to uh, offload people on shore and such. I'll make that one four. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, copy it down here. Well, actually, no, I probably want to be able to build this pretty well, so I probably won't do that. But I am going to put an alloy plate here so that I at least see them. So then you, uh, you're going to get moved forward a block. And you're going to get moved down a block. Well, not a full block. Your left-right scaling is going to get more minimized. Your up-down, no, your up-down scaling will stay about I shall go down slightly. So your forward backward positioning moves a little bit more forward. Uh be your uh forward backward scaling which gets priest All right, so then I'm going to take you. Actually, let me mirror data transfer over to the other side. And you, uh... You can do that, and you're going to get painted color 11. Or not 11, 15. No. You should still uh should delete that piece. Okay, so I can do kind of a partial top covering on this. So what I, mm, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Cause I need I need a half, a half uh curve, not a full curve. Not sure there is one. I'll be honest. This is not working out like I intended it to. So there's a very good chance that I just scrap this and go more to the rowing boat. You, no, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. These will be the, uh, and these are kind of like the premier Canadian destroyers. The, uh, Pincors and the St. Marys. They're, they're the top of the line. You know, they are, like, the 
uh, historical tribal class of the Royal Navy. Laser combiner's kind of rounded up top. Let's try that. Let's try laser combiner combiner here. So. Okay, so then we'll do that. Stretch you out more to the side. Stretch you out more forward. Is that boat kind of looking a little fat? Our boat kind of looking a little fat? I think it is. Um, I might do five on that one and low on this one, maybe 3.5. So I would assume we would want this guy. Actually, you know, let me just grab this piece here. Where is it? There. Hold on, hair issues again. There we go. There we go. Just, just did that slightly. Okay, that's kind of working. And now... Put a little thing top side here. I might try the laser combiner again. What? No. Let me do something interesting. Alloy block. Where is it? There you are.
Okay. Okay, I probably want uh, another block here too, just as the act kind of like a window. That could be a barrel. Oh no, that, that's not gonna work all that well. Um, it's a cram part, right? Yeah, interface screen. So okay, let's do this. Seriously, bring you down. Actually, that doesn't work because it's painted, so probably unpaint you. It's okay. It's a little bit of an odd looking boat. But I think it'll do the trick. I might move you forward. No, I'll have to move these into position. Alright. All right, so then you I'm gonna move back here. Your up down position should be lower, and then your uh, that scaling should be higher. Create kind of a little bit of a hole effect there. These boats are a little ugly. But um, it should do the trick, hopefully. Alright, so that's the boat.
All right, let me just place, let me figure out their exact placement here. Where is the best spot for them? Should probably have them out a block. Maybe here. Really interfere with the torpedo firing lines. That may be there. It's kind of similar to where they were on, like, say, the tribals. Oh. Could have them in the spot where you're building them on. That does have them clipped to the terrain just a little or the, that just a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe here-ish. That'll be the spot for those two boats. Alright, save the pink core in its current state. And I probably will... Hmm. How will I want to chain those on is the question. Let me let me use the bathroom and get. I'll, I'm gonna be right back for a little bit of an extended time. I'll use the bathroom, get some food, and uh, see how things go from there. So yeah, um, I'll do that real quickly, and then I'll get back to building this. Be right back. I, I need food.
All right, now I'm back, and I can have food while I stare at the uh, empty chat room. As I uh, try to continue to build this, I probably need to turn my heating blanket back on, thinking about it now, because I am starting to get a little colder. I had it on at the start, and then turned it off, and... Well, now I'm getting colder again, so I should probably turn it on. It's very difficult to modulate, like, my body temperature. I don't know, maybe I'm like... Is it possible for a human to be cold-blooded? No. Uh, sometimes it kind of feels that way. Like, uh... In terms of body heat... Or in terms of uh, how hot or warm I feel or whatever. Um, in terms of just my overall temperature, how cold or warm I feel, it often feels... It does feel like there's an internal temperature to... Um, yeah. So I feel like that's kind of what happens is I adjust this until my internal... Until I have like a internal temperature or whatever that feels a little too hot. And uh, then I let up. Maybe it's not internal. Maybe it's like on the skin or something. So there's like residual heat somewhere and then once you know it's not just what i'm touching being up it's once i have more of that heat that i start to want to switch also having food is good oh hello there no oh, cocoa beans <laughs> what <laughs> Okay, I feel like I just really confused you. But hey, that is the first ch chat message I've received all day. So, uh, hello. I am currently building this. What did I do? This entire ship here has been built this stream. Other than the turret models, I guess this funnel model technically existed and was just adjusted. Some of the depth charge models existed, and the bow was kind of converted in anchor chains. But I mean, this... Well, we're three and a half hours in, and this is what we have? Yeah. Okay. So... Current thought is, I've got to do something with... Making these destroyers look like they... F uh, destroyers? No. Boats! Making these boats look like they fit... I am totally sane right now. I am totally not, uh, not burning out on trying to play this. Oh, this session. Tribal class destroys is like multiple boats. I think only two is fine for this, though. Apparently, didn't actually have that uh, forward covering thing. One of the models they see has it. I think these would have it, though. So in terms of cranes, I need some sort of um, crane device to uh, hang these off of. So I think the way to do that is shrunk down, or one way to do that would be, uh, check what color are these. Kind of mimic here. What color you painted? Eight. Okay, eight. I'll use eight for these mimics. Or not, I don't think I need mimics, actually. I think I just need, uh, default exhaust blocks. I think I can just do it with them. I think I can almost do it with them. I'm gonna need mimics for the final hanging portion. I can just do like this, I think. Well, getting them in the water off of this is a little difficult. Oh, I imagine... Oh yeah, they'd pitch down, wouldn't they? That's what they do. But these would rotate out this way. 
That that would be how this would be done. I believe. My question is, would that work? I have to go full screen. On these uh, images of tribal class destroyers to tell and hope that I actually come across something uh, remotely useful on this subject. Just trying to figure out how to get this, how this boat should work. I think maybe I just do mount it like this. Well, I, th I think this one needs to be moved over to the side a bit. Alright, so now I do need to add a mimic to each of these. They can more look like they're holding the boat in place. Uh, decoration, color 8. That did not work as intended, uh, so I need probably a pipe here. This pipe. Okay, you know what? What is this piece called? Engine exhaust. I've tried that. So as a pipe, it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. That is it. Oh, straight pipe. Okay. That makes more sense. I'm not sure this works. But just, I'm not finding good reference images. Not in enough detail. And she does look like that. And she does look like that crossed crane thing. It's probably what they do. Okay. So this isn't right. Okay. I was right to be a little suspect. So in this regard, um, I'm gonna need to get clever with mimics. And then also, probably gonna have to steal the. Uh, let me find which piece I need. Probably gonna need to steal this little set of pieces right here.
Okay, there we go. That data transfer should be properly mirrored. Delete that decoration. Okay, so now we have a place where the crane should actually meet up. Um, so, I'm going to have to get extra clever with uh, mimics here. Okay. So we're going to need a mimic here. One there, one there. One there. Do this. Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'll do this. But I'll make them look like... Make them look a little different than they currently do. Okay, so you need to be a, uh, which one? Corner pipe. Oh, no, wrong one. Street pipe. Um, junction pipe? No. Corner pipe. That corner pipe. Okay, cool. Might be like this. No, it is like this. Wait, how would that work? You kind of have to assume that the wires are set up in a way where they can spread a little bit. Which I think they would be, so I'll just allow that. Control C. Okay. This guy would be probably going in about here-ish. Maybe I should do more 30 degrees. Yeah, we'll do 150. Okay. Okay, so those are pretty centered. As they stand, that's good. That's how I want it. Okay. I want you to be a straight pipe. Okay, so how do I want to do this? So, the only one which matters is going to be forward back. Scaling. I'll do 1.5 on each of those. That get me to where I need to be. Maybe I'll do 1.75. Not quite two. I don't. Yeah, I think two would be too much. Then we need to position this well.
Look at how close that is to being positioned perfectly. I'm just gonna change this to 1.8 and call that good. All right, so then I want one of these to be negative. I think you to be negative and then you to be negative. There, there you go, that works. You know, having, eating some food during this as helping. I will say. All right, so. I still have two more pieces to work with. Okay, so I'll need one. One to be the straight up and down pipe. Another one to be presumably the base of the crane. I'll probably increase the up down position on each of these just to uh, that each time. Okay, you're almost in position. That's a good spot to be. It's pretty good. Pretty good alignment. Not perfect, but I'll accept it. So I do that. Um, you do that. You do that. Hopefully these straighten out should be mostly off the edge, I don't know. There's some there's some reason this should work. It might be slightly questionable. You know what? Let's just... Control-C, Control-V, and then Control-C, Control-V. Straight pipe, reset that. And then... Just reset you. Then take that, turn that one into a negative. I suppose I will just probably allow this to work like this. No, there should be a better mechanism. This isn't working! God damn! Damn it, me! Uh, I'm stuck on the lifeboats. I'm not the lifeboats, the uh, ship's boats. I'm s legitimately stuck on them. This, that did not work. That was not working. Okay, so I think the problem is these guys here. Okay, so left-right position I want to change, uh, but... Um, I want to mess with this.
That's probably a slightly better position right there. The other thought is I get sick of this and rip the boat straight from Candiac. Which I'm strongly considering doing. Because I don't like how these boats look. I don't like how their cranes are working. So, I think I'm going to do that. I will save the boat model. There, that's the ugly duckling boat. It's probably not gonna really see the light of day. And I will just grab the boat model from uh, the Candiac class destroyer. Alright, so... Probably want like this. I think that's a good position for it, actually. I just gotta mess with the fences. And by mess with, I mean remove them. And remove this piece here. And then that's another decoration which shouldn't be on it. Alright, so... I think there's a couple of ships' boats. They might be a little small. I think that'll work. That'll work well enough for my purposes. Okay. Um, let me pull the Pincourt class uh, diagram back up. So this would kind of continue to extend this way. I actually do think I want to cut this down in size, like here. Which would better, better match the diagram. There we go. Make sure that didn't go all the way forward. No, it didn't. Good. Actually, this has a little bit more like that shape to it. Now, technically, this door is completely useless, but it doesn't appear to be completely useless from the outside, which is the important part. I 
that does kind of get the shape a little bit. We can put, like, an aft mast, maybe a little bit extra up there. I might be able to get by with moving this torpedo tube back a little bit, too. And when I said it might, might be, um, I will. That being said, I definitely need new torpedo models at some point in the near future. Yeah, that matches that aft bit pretty well. Not perfectly, but pretty well. And then over here, this does actually extend about, I think, three back, technically. So this more goes like this. Oh, hey, hold on. That piece needs to be deleted, too. I'm gonna place doors along here at some point. Or at some point, so. Here's. Here's what I should just do right now. Is accept that I'm gonna do that. And actually put him down somewhere. Oh, come on. Oh, I hit. Oh, I see what I did. That should probably be the second door location. That gives me some entry points along the sides. Okay, so based on the drawings I have of the pin core class. Does this. Well actually, hold on, there's one thing I forgot to uh, mess or fix over here, and that's this. So that winds up being subdivided. I'm thinking about doing like a half step down back here, I'm considering that. Or the other thought is that. Do this. Okay, so there's no four days W mortar. Um, in terms of secondaries. I need... I'm just looking at the different variants between the original and the modified. Which will actually be a significant change, looking at it now. Anyway, uh... Yeah, so my thought is kind of like something like this, where you have a platform. Although, if we're doing a platform, it should probably be made out of alloy plates. A little bit more like this. Okay, there we go. That keeps the top-down look well, uh, giving it a little bit more structure. Although, what I'll probably do is I'll probably still do this. Oh, no, I might do that. I might keep it that way. I think I will keep it that way. Okay, um, let's give this aft funnel a little bit more height. 
shall we? Because the top section's gonna need to be the uh, black color, so I think I only want it like three higher before uh, we hit the top. Let me grab the smoke bit here. Do a little decorative, decorative thing. Uh, fuel engines. Okay, there we go. All pipe. Which color is this all? No, hold on, I need to check what it is on the other destroyers. Alright, so that is... 8-6. Right at the front of these guns at paint 6. Should we paint 9? That is a actual screw up on my part. This nine should be a little darker. look a little bit more gun barrel like all right so we want paint six up there then That shouldn't be paint 2, that should be paint 9. I don't know why that was on paint 2. The weird thing is I have a different black for the funnel smoke, the uh, water line, and then for the uh, actual, like, places which are supposed to be very dark. Um, wait, no, hold on, hold on, I want this to be another layer taller. There you go, that looks pretty good. Alright, so let's do a, uh, where is it, our one meter alloy wood slope.
Okay, we got another Deccan. I mean, Pincor class is looking like a destroyer now. Which is good. I may have to modify how these float. And it may be the case where I have to start using helium pumps on the destroyers just so that they float a little better. Um... I think I can get by without the helium pumps on the, uh, cruisers. Like, this isn't- this isn't floating particularly badly. There's a little bit of- there's a little bit of roll even in calm seas, but... Not bad. She's pretty well ballasted. Or, you know, implement some form of active roll stabilization. Oh yeah, new float plane catapult. It looks good. I'm happy. I'm very happy with how this looks. I made it, or I made it myself after getting frustrated with people not making it for me. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? No, I'll just, I'll do it. And then I made this and it looks, I, I like it. What's funny is that this turret and this turret perform identical functions and have identical calibers of gun. So that's weird to put in or to put it in terms. It's weird. It's it's a strange strange thing. Okay, so I'm trying to think what sort of, uh, what sort of structure would look good. So according to my diagram, or the drawing I have, this is going to have a little bit different of a, uh, superstructure than the, uh, preceding candy axe with this and the succeeding, uh, Cote St. Luke's with this. Pincore is going to be different. Although, I don't know, maybe I can work something like that in. It'll just depend on uh, how I do it. I want to get the general shape laid out. So that would be the that would be the next deck. So the next deck above that would be here. Or I just do a, I think I just do this. Okay. So it'll wind up going out to the side a bit like this. Then I need I think I have a couple of this piece on here. Oh, hold on. I keep having to take my headset on and off because my hair just flops down over my face now. It's too long, I need it cut again. It's not pretty hair anymore either. <laughs> It's like, it's like girl hair, and I want my normal guy hair haircut back, but pandemic keeps me from going anywhere. Alright, so that's a pretty good shape. Pretty accurate to uh, what we're actually looking at. Oh, I see how it's not safe to fill. There we go, now it's safe to fill. Alright, so that's about where the bridge is going to go. I am going to replace some of those pieces. 
as I build it out, it's just how am I going to build it out? This is matching the top-down profile pretty well. And there is a further back piece, which I assume is something on the mast. Just probably try to get anti-aircraft guns in here soon. Actually, you should probably try to do that now. So in terms of anti-aircraft guns, we have, uh... We're gonna need what... Oh, hold on, I'm looking at the newer version. I need the older one. Um... Seven medium and two light. Uh, where... Where are they? Simple weapons, yeah. So, mediums are these guys. Um... It's definitely a little platform here for mediums. I think it would be elevated that high. There's two mediums. Well, four mediums, I should say. So we are going to need a center line medium. That's going to be annoying. The only place we could actually f technically we could fit one in Yurish. Should I might lower the other two and then have that one shoot above them? Should I put that here? And that makes it a lot easier for me. Okay, yeah, that look that looks pretty pretty good. And then we can have two more mediums, which would be single bofers somewhere. And uh only a good spot for those might be like here ish. have to get their exact location sorted. I'll just put them here and then manually adjust them later. And then in terms of two light anti-aircraft guns, uh, those would just be uh, single... Uh, single 20 millimeters. That's a twin. I think here would be a pretty adequate place for those. Or I put the 20 mil, or go with the bofers there instead. 20 mil bofers. About here ish. That might be a better location for them, actually. Go with the 20 mils up here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Technically, I could put them on here. I mean, that's going to be more the bridge area. Probably going to wind up being more like here-ish. There. I think that'll be good. I'm actually going to place another block layer here. That'll be where the staircase is. Okay, so, now, what sort of structure do I want these to be on? Because I could do this. Kind of has the interesting look where it would Extend out forward. Is 
Then do this. I can do that. that I think yeah I think that'll look good and then we do have to delete one of these for a door I'm starting to get a little bit of lag Alright, do that. Okay, she's starting to look a little Russian, actually. <laughs> Got distracted by Discord. Okay, so I will put in windows here eventually. Wait. Where can I get windows from? Which destroyers of mine have good windows for this? And what would good windows be? I don't like summer style windows, maybe. I could do like a summer style thing here, where the windows kind of stretch almost all the way to the edge. It might be better to have an enclosed bridge on the pin course. Oh, the, I'm building their 1942 build. That would be more like a Fletcher though, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it probably would be enclosed. Hmm. What I thought is... Do something like this. Or I just do go with like a summer style thing. I could cut it here instead. Or it'd be a little summer style. A little more summer style. So this is more Russian style. This way it would be more summer style. I'll try it like this first. Now I just need to think of which destroyer should I spawn to uh, help out. So which ones do I have good windows on? So... Preston's are not good. 
Mercies aren't going to be great. All of ours are probably going to be... I don't think... I think I'm going to need my own custom set here. Alright, so then you should be 45 degrees. I knew that was going to be 45 degrees. It was actually this part here I was concerned with. Um, Mirror that data transfer. Oh, there's looking a little like Grimiashi, something like that. Uh, maybe having that more all around like that kind of helps break that style. So, put, I'll put the door. Come on. There we go. I'll put the door there. I was going to just add in the piece there, but I realized that I can just copy it from here. Alright, plate. There we go, that makes it really easy on me. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this will still look okay. It's, it's different, it's more unique. I think it's something which could be built. Stylistically, a little strange, but okay. Other thought is to shrink the window size down a little bit. Although that might hurt. I don't know. I think having the large windows might help. Okay, so... We have those windows. You know what? One thing I'm going to do now is... Uh, Here's what I should do. Uh, maybe, maybe I should do that. I'm a little hesitant. Should I? Should I do this? Because there is going to have to be a mass through here. Possibly a tripod mast. But now I would think at the very least I should move these up here. But yeah, I'll do that. Put 
them here. I think. I think that's okay. Instead of being so strict about this, look, what we'll do is I'll uh, take this and do that. Get a little bit more substance up here. There we go. Okay, and then actually I should probably uh, do like, oh, what three blocks will fall off? Oh yeah, duh, those three blocks. Why did I do that? That's what I need, although technically those aren't place. Let's, uh, how do we do this? Though, that's not going to work. Why did I think that was going to work? That's where the mess needs to go. Good job, me. I think that's doable. Put some fences up there. There, there'll be a director up there. Um, well, we have plenty of room for the mast behind that. So, I don't know. Maybe that box will be where the director goes on top of. That might be what I do. That will be what I do. Um, now, I did have it looking kind of... Uh, squarish. Like this. Uh, you know what? It's kind of like half-block stuff. Do I have any good half-block stuff sitting around? I think I sh eh, I might just do... I just do kind of like mimic half blocks. Alright, so... I'll say there. It'll go, it'll stretch back to there.
Technically, you do need to put a door on this. Why am I bothering? Why am I bothering with that? And then here I am just going to add a beam. Then on top of this, can go... Now oh, that base is barely held on now. Yeah, director will go up here. Technically, that piece has to be removed. But you know what? That suffered enough. There we go, that should fix it. That's, that will be easy to put fences on now. Although, uh, I think it does look better like this. So that's a director crest, and maybe a director CSL would be better. I think they're, are they basically the same though? I think so. Maybe up here I'll do another layer of like these. I do need a staircase to get up here. No, that's what I use this for. You know what, skirt will do. Here's how we fix it. And then we just place our standard doors here. Opt adds in some additional supports back here. That should be how you get up there, and you can technically go into the director from that. Let me actually, what is your director? The code saying the director is the same. This is just kind of my standard destroyer director then. So that'll be color five. Okay, so she only has one fire control position, so that's it.
Why is this not painted? I think it was. I think it might have just been the shadows being weird. One thought I've just had is, is there any... Yeah, I'll just support that. It'll be, it'll be okay. It's in terms of a mast. Previous destroyer has this sort of mast. Oh yeah, you are going to need a radar. The successor is that. So she'll probably... I mean, she's, what, 1942? Yeah, she'll probably still get this sort of mast. Um. Alright. That will be our temp for the moment. Let's put our, uh, temp down. Oh, she... Could do that. Um, let's put it here. Put it there. I think that'll work. I'll have to recolor all those. this will be on the same level, right? That goes about there-ish. That technically should go there. The problem is, if I extend that, would that cut through? No, it wouldn't. That should work still. That should be okay. Alright, so then... I'll just grab these one piece at a time. Place them down. Probably here. Oh, this does get in the way of the staircase. I'll change the direction of that staircase. And then sub objects mode, radar, Creston, I imagine. I should. In more radar coat St. Luke, since the pin cores are a little bigger. I'll leave that one on color eight. Oh, hold on. I noticed an issue. These guys did not mirror properly. Let's 
Seriously, I did not have mirror selected. There we go, now they're mirrored properly. Ah, Fincor is looking pretty good so far. Pretty solid as a destroyer design, I think. I do, however, think I need to take this and stretch it back. You know, I kind of don't like to. Then here, kind of, it kind of needs to go. Eh. Maybe not. Maybe not there. Okay, so this is gonna force me to uh, have fences in a weird position. I think I'll try it. Okay, there we go. That'll work. It's 2.46 a.m. Maybe I should... Maybe I shouldn't keep this going this... This... Much longer. I mean, I'm getting close. I'm getting to the point where, uh... I just have to decorate it. But I'm like... Four hours in. There's part of me which is like, I want to get this all done in one session and show that I can get it all done in one session. And there's part of me is just like, no, this is gonna, this is gonna continue to be painful. But that being said, we're close enough to getting this done in one session. I might just stay up until it's done. You know what, screw it, I think I will stay up until it's done. Let's do this. Alright, so then... That's where it's supposed to go? I think I'm going to need it there. Oh, hold on, that was a block too low. Stop it. Stop it, me. There we go, that's on the right block. So close, the pain is worth it. <laughs> yeah. I actually do think I want that block further down. I don't know. <sighs> so that would be here. But then this ladder really isn't that useful. So I'll remove the ladder. I'll place an alloy plate there. Um, I actually think what I want to do is I want to... Take this and move it forward a block. And then do it again here. ultimately do this. And 
And then, of course, paint this this color. I'm just not bothering with the fences, though. And then what I'll do is I will, uh... I should get rid of these two. I'll do that. So that's how you get up onto that platform. You know what, here's what I should be doing. There you go, that looks a little better. So we'll have to get fences up here. Um, a little bit more extensive of a platform than on the other ship, but I think we can get another platform in. Maybe I'll do one here. Maybe that could be another platform. And then we could have that... We could have... I think this platform should stretch out, probably. Yeah, okay, that looks okay. I'll put that there. It does kind of go up through the radar mast. This platform is not exactly accessible. Through normal means, but if I add a staircase, it will be. Okay, there we go. There's uh, some additional supports kind of in that mast area. It would be nice to get a searchlight up there. I think that's kind of the main thing I'm missing. And I'm not really sure I can get it in on this platform. Oh, right, and also this is a problem. Um, I need to d I need to hide that. There you go, now it's hidden. I do think that removing...
this is worth it. Uh, actually, no, no, it's not. I, I had made the right decision before. I can't fit a searchlight in there. I'll have to figure out another clever place to put one in. Probably on the funnel. I mean, there's plenty of other additional places where searchlights can go in. Okay. I need half blocks here. These are just not going to look like without half block support, so... Hello, half blocks. Although... This here is probably going to have to be a full block. Then what I might do, I might grab a little tactic I used here. A little design strategy. Of course, it will not work. Position these right. Actually, you know what? Should work there. Oh, I see what I did wrong here. So I think this does actually have to go on this side. Like that. Although, for whatever reason, this is in the wrong spot. Although, actually, you know what? No, this is designed to be... to look a little, uh, circular, so this isn't gonna work. So I'd have to do something with, like, these at the ends. And I can't put one there. Mm, this is starting to become a really annoying build. It's getting to the point where I'm running out of room and I'm having... I'm going to need to get more clever. I think it would actually be a better design if I, uh... took this and turned it around to the other side. So I know that, come on, I know that that's a piece. There's one there and one here. Oh no, this has to go like this, okay. Okay, that gives me more room. And then this guy I need to select the mirror mesh for, this guy I need to select the mirror mesh for. Okay, so... My thought here... I'm going to turn these into quarter blocks. But 
But then I'm going to have a full half block out to this side. To better get kind of that look I'm going for. So then I'll take a quarter block, put it here, and uh, convert it to an alloy downslope. Just hope that that's... no, that's not correct. There we go. Oh, there's no mirror mesh, I just gotta do mirror da data transfer there. Okay, cool. And then that, uh, this block here goes from being a f that to a 5 like this. Do you know what? Could I elevate these another block? I think I could. I think I can. So currently they're there. I want them there. That still allows that center bofer to kind of shoot over them a little bit. Especially if I do more like this. Might get in the way of the K-Gun slightly. Uh, maybe if I'm clever about how I... No, definitely if I'm clever about how I support it, I'll be fine. So, get rid of this. Actually, this should be... This should look like this, since we need to walk people under it. Our little uh, blast shielding bits here. So I have to create some sort of support system for that. I probably shouldn't be that hard though. Okay, so then we'd have a platform going across here. And then we have to support this other gun. So that would need that, presumably. This is getting in the way of the torpedo tube slightly. The other thought would be to put the gun over here where the aft mast would go. You know, I think I have to elevate this gun one more block. Maybe here? Nah, uh, I think here's better. I'll have to make a way up to this, uh, up to this structure. I think, I'll just put a staircase. Just put a staircase here, though. Let me grab, where is it? Have any on you? No, I don't, because I don't have any single Bofors mounts on you. I need to uh, load in your half sister, your older half sister, Saint John. I'm to have four ships loaded in. Do not move. Actually, five ships loaded in. Frame rate's starting to chug a little bit. I'll 
I'll probably get rid. I'll probably uh, despawn St. John here very shortly. Receiving. Pull you out of play. I got the piece I need. Okay, so that's the piece I need. Um, so, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Take that, duplicate it down. Duplicate it down there. Okay, so now that gun's in position, and there's some Z fighting going on, because it's not the right color. Now it's the right color, now there's no Z fighting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this section, give it the alloy plate back, take that guy, remove it. And grab my little staircase over here. That's too far back. That that would be forward enough, but all right. So I'm gonna take this mimic, move it here instead. Delete this guy. You should be shifted one backwards then. And now I can add my staircase in, which was already over here. I should just grabbed it, and done that with it. There we go. Now we have the staircase up there. Now, that will have to be supported. But that easily can be supported. Just need to grab... Actually, you know what I need to grab is I just need to grab this piece here. And there we go, now I have a little Bofors tower. Um, these other ones will definitely have to be worked on. Why did why did you not mirror? I ordered you to mirror data transfer. I, I, oh, oh, I see why, I see why. Because I moved the guns, that, that makes sense. Man, oh man, this is looking feasible somehow. It's looking like it is feasible to get the uh, this destroyer done. That being said, I still need the anti-aircraft directors somewhere. <coughs> um, and I'm not left room for them. So I will have to uh, create room for them somehow. I was over here for something. Yes! This. I want this piece. I don't want them here. And then I need this, and I need a plate. I need a uh, allow plate slope.
Seriously? There we go. So there's those mounts in place. Um, I need to grab you and put you around the other Bofors mounts. Which extend a little bit off the side of the boat, but eh, I'll, uh, I'll get a little half block section to cover that. I have some of those on uh, you, so... There you go, that works. So I guess you're now 15 wide. But I mean, I guess you might have already been 15 wide, but technically, you know, you're more... You're, you're truthfully, thir the ship's truthfully 13 wide. How is this already being built like this? How is this happening? How is this ship in this state? see something here. That one should be nine. Oh, you should be nine. Should be nine. I think you should be six. Better match up with everything else. Yeah, okay, there we go. That better matches up. Uh, that keeps the color looking a little bit more consistent. Okay, so now we've got that. So this needs supports. I'll do supports towards the end. I need... I need AA directors, which on destroyers I have is these little things. Okay, so there's that, that. Where is the... Okay, there it is. Height length. There, okay, that will be our... These are our destroyer AA directors. For cruisers, I actually use the same... Now for cruisers and battleships, I use the same uh, directors that I use as regular destroyer directors. So you probably want to be here-ish. So then the second set of directors might actually be mounted back here. I'll have to get a uh, plat. I'll have to get a platform up there. Actually, you know what? I kind of liked it over here a little more. Yeah, it almost does look like you're just climbing into the gun. If that uh, circle thing wasn't there, um, I mean, you would be effectively. So now those need a support. Should be pretty easy to get. I don't think that'll interfere with the lifeboat at all. So. Or the, the ship's boat. It's interesting that the Candiac had more torpedoes than the Pincor. And was as well armed. Oh yeah, because the Pincors went really fast. That was why. Pincors are like... 20... or 35 knots. I think the Candiacs are only like 32 or something. Okay, so... Okay, so these are the right diameter. The problem is, uh, they're not the right... I can't stack them like I want to. 
So let's real quickly uh, reset all these to be center. Because that's centered. Oh my god. Nope. I did the wrong thing. Reset. Reset. There. And uh, I'll look for one meter. Repaint it the color I want. Grab it. Delete it. And then I need it. Uh. These are slightly off center. I'll do this. And then we'll get some additional platforms in. Now that's supported too. We'll get some additional platform. We'll get an additional platform back there as well around the aft mast. What color are these actually? Are these seven? Those are seven. I'm going to paint them eight. No, oh, wait, no. That needs to be five. Eight needs to be this guy. Yeah, the other ones will be uh, seven. That's my default uh, deck clutter color scheme. Okay, okay. We're making progress. Um, I think only the 50s don't have their blast shielding right now, which I should probably... Well, not 50s, the 20 mils don't have their blast shielding right now, which I should probably put around them. I mean, technically, we'll just get like this. Although... No, I am strongly considering doing this. And by strongly considering, I mean, yes, I'm going to do it. And, uh, oh, I just discovered something wrong with this ship. Hold up while I uh, fix a detail on a completely unrelated ship. Height of two. Copy this over. Okay, okay, we're, we're doing this. We are getting her done. I think it's on this side. Yes, okay. Do this. And then I need... Actually, you know what? piece I can copy is, in fact, over here. It's this guy. And actually, no, I am going to do some of this. And I think this section is going to be fences, so. Actually, you know what? This section here might be fences, too. I think fences will create a little bit better of a look. Okay, okay, okay. What do my... What am I needing right now? I'm needing an aft mast. That's the big part. Or that's the big thing I'm needing. I think if I have the aft mast, that is everything that this ship function or needs in the would have needed in the World of Waves 2 campaign. So I'm just gonna steal the aft mast uh, from the other destroyer. Put that. Uh, be here. Put it here. Nope. Be here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this implies that there is a platform about here ish. Which I think I'm okay with implying. 
are okay with building. It's just trying to figure out a way to get a staircase up there, which is annoying. So rather than being like a structure on other destroyers, this is just a platform. I will make it supported in a moment. Okay, so we're relatively poor... Our stuff's relatively poorly supported right now. But I think we have all of our major details in place. Or all of our, like, major aspects of this in place. So, I need to support. Once I'm done with supporting, I need to decorate. And once I'm done with decorating, we're done. Supporting is going to be really annoying, though. I'm going to save the vehicle, and I am going to get some form of candy. I am going to complete this vehicle tonight. But I, I need, like, a chocolate bar or something. I need energy. Be right back. Right, I also need searchlights. I took a little bit longer there because I just needed like a, a brief mental break. My brain is starting to melt, but I need to get the ship done. The funny thing is, once I get... Um, actually, no, I think... I think I will just build the... Pincore successors um, on the same hull design. I'll just be modifying the end of it so that it has an additional torpedo tube and one less gun. But, um, more advanced guns. Okay. So I need searchlights. That's thing number one. I've got to put searchlights on uh, Candiac. I know I got searchlights on uh, my cruisers, though. 
So the fact that I forgot to put searchlights on Candiac means that I'm also going to give her some right now. That's a good location for a couple. That'll work. Kenyak, I just didn't paint in a camouflage either. Probably should at some point. Actually, I'm going to mess with the camouflage here. Might look better on point one when I'm done. Oh, yeah, uh, searchlight platforms. I think you look good with one here. That's a good location for a searchlight. Can shine to either broadside. I'll put one on this square too. So get another set on top of her bridge. Okay. All right, so now she has searchlights. You can spot enemy targets at night. Which means I think we are just down to supports. Supports and decorations. Still gonna be annoying, but... We should be able to do. So I'm going to increase the height of this little mass back here. I think that'll be better. Alright, so let's work forward and then further back. So there's a piece I want to grab from uh, this ship. Okay, so I'm going to start by grabbing this piece. And I'll probably have to modify it. Let's see. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll start out with that. Actually, you know what? Um, I'll support that a little bit better, too. So we'll start with that as support. Um, okay, so we need a piece here, I think. So, add new decoration. Wait, no, hold on, hold on. These are, what, again? Alloy down slope. These are more like this.
Okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. There we go. Okay, so then... Next place I need support... Oh, hold on. Why did... Not. Just didn't copy over to that side. Wait, she's also gonna need more ladders in various segments. Let me get those on too. While we're uh, doing this. Still building everything, so we could probably have a ladder there by the lifeboats. Um, probably smart to have a ladder about here. Maybe here. Maybe another one here. And then I'll add a little footstep area to get up there. Get that half deck. Um, she needs some doors here, too. So I do need to get the doors in. Alright, so I think a door there would work. Then probably another door here would work. And then I think we've got doors just about everywhere we need. Okay, so the next thing I want to support is these kind of bridge wing things. Um, I think I need uh, some pillars to do it, and some uh, kind of back or kind of some other stuff. Part of me, I'm gonna load in Lethbridge. Lethbridge is uh, a ship I had to very heavily support. No, no AI off. Turning off. Do not. <sighs> Thank God they almost forced us into each other. That was that was close. All the ships started to move when I hit AI on instead of AI off. Alright, good old Lethbridge. Old protected cruiser somehow still serving in the 50s. Uh, what did I want? I wanted these supports here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Lethbridges can support that much of a climb. So then this is a. That's a six climb as well! Six climb two block. Hello, uh, Lethbridge supports. I'm just outright stealing you. All right, the, these ships have switched position now. I have to get used to that. Kind of didn't think these would be coming in useful. Um. Unfortunately, these parts are in the way, so, uh, will have to be a fix here. But thankfully, that fix is easy.
Now, did it copy over successfully? No, it did not. Hello, mere data transfer. I'm gonna have a lot of you to do today. Now, did you accurately transfer over? Yes. Okay, that one would have copied over. Alright, so that gives our bridge wings a little bit of additional support. That being said... ...do need to be colored like that, and I think it's a good idea for me to color these stairs as well. Oh, hold on, there's one important staircase I'm missing. Which I'll have to put in here pretty soon. Those stairs are colored with three, and I've kind of stopped using three for my superstructures, and I'm going to have to fix all my ships by recoloring them that way, because I'm not, because I have some ideas for uh, non-monotone, or no, I have some ideas for like two-tone camo schemes, but uh, ones which aren't like actual disruptive camo, more ones which are just general ship paint. Okay, so I think this this forward section here is now well supported. Now I think the next area which needs support supporting is back here. Um, so I think I want to do that. Alright, so, uh, why does the other, like, retract like that sometimes? I don't get it. Okay, anyway, you know what? I'll just do that. Fly with mirror. That holds up another section. Um. I do think this needs to be back here. And then we're gonna have to get a little bit better of supports. Um. You know, here-ish and here-ish. And that's what I need to work on now. <laughs> ah, this will be pleasant. Okay, how... How do I want to handle this? Okay, so I think one thought here is... Actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just add a decoration here. Alloy down slope. Uh, point five, point two five. I could do that, or uh, calculation. Let's do one and two. Um. Uh, never mind, that's, like, not helpful at all. Oh, no, I think that is, actually. Hold up. Uh, let's do 30 degrees. I don't think I want 45, but it might go 40. Yep, apply that with mirror. 
hey, now suddenly that's looking a lot better supported. And then put another one over here. Uh, take it. Let me look at it here. I'm going 150 might be better. That's not one I want to move. That's the one I want to move. And I guess slightly this. Seriously? I had it in the perfect position and then the game lagged. Um, apply that with mirror. Yeah, help, that helps that section. That gives that section a little bit more oomph to it. Okay, then... Uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to do this to it. I'm going to start by putting it here. But I think these pieces need to be angled differently. So maybe like 150. Two. I'll just do 150. Two point four. That doesn't quite reach back, but I, I can adjust this. Does. Can't see anything. Come on, actually, let me get me the alloy plate triangle because I can see a little bit more. Apply that with mirror. Okay, so that's looking a little better supported. And then right here, I will add an alloy downslope. Uh, color 5. Uh, and that. that to support that platform somewhat. Um, you know what, I'm gonna delete that and this. So I think what I need here is these guys or something similar to these guys. So let's do reset those two locations. One three five. Then I'll add a uh, two to each of these. And then mm, apply this. There we go. So that's far better supporting that segment. Then I want that there. I think that's the the structure itself is probably well enough supported. And that's actually I think that platform is well enough supported. As it stands, I don't think I need extra anything extra on it.
Uh, where I do need some extra stuff is down here. And this is half out. And that causes some issues, because if I try to put anything down there, it's going to clip through the staircase. On, over down here. Which is obviously bad. So I'm going to need to angle the supports for this slightly. I think what I want to do is I actually want to grab this. Actually, I don't think I have to angle the supports. I think I just have to take this guy and turn him into a truss 2 meter. Now we do have that extra spotlight platform out there, which I am going to need something additional for. But I think I can just, like this. Oh, well, I don't know, maybe I need... I need a more steeply angled version. I'll take this. This is steeply angled in the wrong way. Um... My hope is that something like this Okay, play with mirror. We'll do that too so it looks a little bit even. I do think it would I oh, I do think it would be a good idea to uh Get one of those in there. Um, three meter alloy pole. Do that. Just to kind of hold up that section better and mirror the data transfer. Oh no, I'm less sold on that. I think I think that'll look better without it. Maybe what I should do is uh, go up to this and widen it. Save the vehicle so I don't lose all of these, uh, all this extra supporting I've done. Alright, so that's all supported. All that the uh, forward stuff is. Now we gotta get this bit right here. Um, this gun is the next one which needs to be supported, and I'm probably going to need angled supports just to make sure that it, or that the K gun still has room to, uh, operate. So we're going to need a set of supports in here to hold it up, and then we're going to need another set over there. So what I'm actually going to do is I am actually going to grab this. Um, I think this is a good idea to grab. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to grab this, specifically. But I'm going to modify it. Not. And that's the uh... 
think that's the one I want to reset. And these aren't, I don't think these are thick enough either. I'm only going to change them to 0.2 though. I think that's thicker. Thick enough. So slightly not directly supported, but who cares? It's, it's, it'll, it'll look close enough. I just gotta grab this piece. Put it here. Take you. Turn it into a truss one meter. Um, okay, so this should be 2.4, probably. Point 0.8? Yeah, okay, point 0.8. Okay, so that's the start of the supports. That's kind of holding the back side of it up. Uh, maybe I should probably put a larger support directly underneath the gun like this. Like a smaller version of this, or maybe two of them. Could have one here, which is like maybe 0.75. does directly get in the way of the where you drop the charge in for that though so maybe maybe not maybe not all right so then you you're up down position two five and then this should be five I might do this but uh Make this set a little thinner. I mean, not 0.25, maybe like 0.35. Should offer slightly better support. It should still allow people to uh, walk under it too. So in that, I probably do want a uh, piece around though. The question is, do I have any good pieces I can just quickly use on any of my other ships? I thought I did have something here, but probably not, actually. Yeah, probably not. Alright, one thing I should do... Uh, alloy plates here and here. Another. I'm not gonna bother putting plates there. I could put uh, storage things there if I want to. Those uh, side guns, or those uh, mid uh, midships bofers. I might do another one of these here. 
in this case, um, that's going to get turned down. Um, that's going to be run all the way to zero. do that. Okay, uh, lightweight alloy block, color 5. Um, Alright, so I'll do that. Um, I'll move you point two five that way. Uh, two five that way. Right scaling will go up to about there, and then you will. I will give you some yaw. Then I will actually take this piece, put it here, uh, give it no yaw, and no weird alignment there. I should do do one going across here. Okay, so then this will this will go from the funnel to another piece. Go from the funnel to about that center line piece here. Kind of link those two up. That here? No, that's that's this piece. Okay, you know what? You should be point three up, maybe. Okay, you know what? Um I do want to do an angled set of pieces, but I don't think it'll work as well as I was thinking now. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to do this. So, alloy down slope. Definitely starting to encounter more and more lag. This game becomes less stable the more you play it, and uh, this is a six-hour session of it, so... I'll do 3-5.
down. So we have one there, uh, copy, add new decoration, paste, and now reverse that, uh, no, do that, and do that, and now apply with mirror. I don't think that looks like that's better supported. I think, yeah, I think that that looks like it's adequately supported. So now the question is, uh, this top bit here, this top gun. <sighs> My god, why did I, s why do I talk? Okay, so... I'm just gonna bring these out to... I'm gonna bring these out to 0.75 each. Uh, 8. 0 0.8. 0 0.8 get me probably a little bit more centralized than left, right, or... Probably move the up down a little lower. Do that, and then do that scaling out to about 1.5. Copy that. Paste it here. Um, flip that to a negative. Uh, I think flip that one to a negative. And now take this and turn it around. Okay, now that gun has support. That is traversable. So now we gotta work on this aft section right here. And just uh, give this some proper support. And this should actually be the easiest to do. Yeah, I think this is well supported. Um, actually, eh, this mid this mid section here isn't. So um, I think I'm gonna want. Do you have? Okay, yeah, you have that piece copied. So I'm gonna take you. And I'm gonna just delete the decoration on it. Delete the decoration, and now I have this piece here. Uh, delete that because it's not actually a spot I can put it in. Put it there. That should give me more support. Then I can go grab something else from somewhere else, probably, uh, Something like this can- Oh right, I have to support that section too. Crap. So let's grab this piece here. And then just kinda see how it looks stuck. Here. Stuck here. That looks decent. I might uh, de de angle this to like 35 degrees and move it a little bit more. More out a little bit. Make it a little bigger. And that cuts directly through, so never mind.
Okay, that barely does, but that's not noticeable, so I'm I'm fine with that. Okay, so I think that is that midship section supported well enough. Well, so the pin cord is a little strange looking for um all of the various destroyers I have, but I think she's still good looking. I think she's she's still going to work within the aesthetic. She's just going to be a little bit more American rather than a little bit more British. Um, but I mean, that's fine. The Canadian ships are a hybrid of American and British anyway, so. Yeah, they were originally built in local yards, so that's that's good. That works still. It checks out. Okay, so now... All oh, these didn't mirror successfully. Oh, they did. You didn't mirror successfully. There we go. Alright, so... I would ideally want to do something like this. But I'm going to guess... Alright, yeah, the pieces aren't going to gonna be properly aligned. Um, and not only that, they really need to be coming out of the funnel. There's not a there's not a block here. There probably should be. Okay, so all the way down down slope, color five. I'll do a hundred ten. 10 I said I'll do a point one five here and said make it a little beefier up down no this scaling will be point five I'll put it up I'll put it at point seven up down positioning needs to be up by about one point five left right forward by 0.6. I'll move the forward backward off by about I'll do 0.5 screw it. And then ah, you know, that's poking out a little bit, but I think that's okay. And then copy this decoration, add a new decoration, paste it in. Do that. Uh, Change this to 80. No, not 80, 70. I added 20 degrees, not 10. I'm gonna apply that with mirror. That should, yeah, that has those being decently supported now. There is one small thing I want to do here, and that's this. There's a tiny bit of support right there. Or not support, uh, platform right there. Back portion of that platform properly supported. I feel like I want to have one of these guys in. It's kind of holding that up. Oh, this this didn't properly. I did not properly mirror this. Apply with. Me. Seriously, seriously, I hit apply with mirror, and it didn't register. I'm, I'm starting to have issues now with the game. We're so close. We are so close to being done with this ship. All right. Okay, so if I want to support this, you know what? Let's let's take these guys and bring them up to maybe 0.5. I think this would be better. And I 
and taking them, doing this. Is that going to help that section be better supported? It's not there yet. Um, I think we're going to need a set of these trusses. Alright, so in terms of... Now let's start with 10 degree... Eh... 12 degrees, yaw. Yeah. Um, I think you're... That should be two. Drop down positioning. Should probably be five if that's two. I need that left-right positioning adjusted. How's that? I think the left right needs to go up to five. Okay, that helps. Um, this piece I'm going to increase to 5, 0.5, so that, that does make it appear a little bit better supported. Take those, I'll change this aft mast into uh, our superstructure color. Technically, that has to be walked through, so I can't really get another set of those. But I mean, that is looking pretty well supported already. I think just having a little bit of extra here would be helpful. Alloy down slope. So yaw, maybe 120, uh, I'll set that down to 0 0.7, I'll bring it up to 0 0.9. Okay, so then we have our second piece over here. But I think I'm going to increase the yaw a bit more. Stop it. Line with mirror. Right. All right, so I think I want to delete. No, hold on.
How do I want to adjust this? I don't. I want to delete it. I might do this instead. Take you, um, advanced positioning. Do that. Alright, I think the vehicle's supported now. Got the supports done. Um, now it is decor- oh, Okay, so now it's fences and decorations. And, uh, then, uh, messing with the color a little bit more, which will happen relatively soon. Alright, so. We're going to prefab mode. Uh, I need to go on here first, actually. And hope that, you know, the game doesn't lag to oblivion. You know, I'm gonna grab this piece. Delete it. Delete it. Delete everything which is untethered. Put that there. Figure out why this isn't connected. Do that. To connect it. I think I want a two meter straight left here. All right, so there's the fencing on the bow shear. All right, I also need a step up here, I think. I will do that at some point. A special fence to uh, fix that. Okay, so I need a three. Actually, hold on, I need this, then I need a three. Uh, straight L here. There we go. Go to a straight R, flop or, or switch around to the other side, go to a straight L. Um, I need a three meter here. And then I'll correct the I'll go back through and correct the other side when I can. This ship does need a flag somewhere, on, preferably on a mast. Or something.
right. Do not do that. Actually, you know what? Let me... That oh I forgot to put a slope there. Okay, let me despawn some stuff like Receiving. you, because I think I'm having frame rate issues. Receiving. That was why. That was why I was having frame rate issues. That was the exact reason why. Where am I gonna put a flag here? That is still a good question. Where? Maybe here. Best. I mean, wherever I put it, it should be consistent with wherever I put it here. But, you know, that's probably a good spot. Let's squeeze one in and uh, see what we can do with it. I could put it here. Yeah, that could work. Then just delete this. And then add a decoration in here. Which decoration do I want? Um, do you know what? Can we just do another flag post? Sometimes I hate how pitch just can't go all the way over. We're gonna work. I still need to fix the uh, fences on one side, but you know, now that we have this, I can take this and just copy this over onto you. Just remove your top two of those. It is a little bulge, but it'll work well enough. I'm flying the flag there. And though I do like how pin court looks, I will say I'm probably not going to do the uh, additional version of pin court on stream. I'll probably not even do that. Not on, Not only on this stream, just not in stream in general. Because that one will be an easy enough conversion. The later versions um and i probably won't do the next destroyer up on stream either because i i would have um i would have if this was a two-parter but since at this point this is a one-parter no all right so then the last thing i need is uh a uh, four meter sloped left here all right there we go Start mirroring the data over from all of the railings. I do have to get in a uh, back or a, a backside railing in. I do have to remember to do that.
Okay, so that should be that set of railings fixed. Oh man, look at this ship. Alright, so the back the back side set of railings is this piece right here. Although, as much as I want to grab that, I actually have a better set here. That's a three-er. Um, I only have a three-er in that. I do feel like on you. Is it on there? No. Okay. You know what? Part of me is like, let's move these up. Part of me is like, no. Let's not. Um. Oh, hold on. Decorations rotation. Uh, decorations flip. Uh, settings. No. Yeah, I'll move them up. So, okay, so technically I have to put a flag down now to, uh, in th these positions. And two flags go there. Good to know. So, what I want to do now is I want to take... Do you know what? Delete that. Delete that. I'll place them in again later. I want to take you. I want to delete the decorations here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you mirror. That's the side I want it on. And now I take you... Put you over there. Then, you know, maybe I just... Do that and then shift you guys over slightly? Not, no. Apply that with mirror. Okay, so now I actually have a piece I can just... Kinda put in back here, and I probably want to do it on this side. Oh yeah, there's a piece there, that makes sense. Um, let's just delete that too. Okay, mirror those data transfers. Alright, so then I'm gonna do a two meter left. Actually no, four meter straight left. There, and then I want a one meter straight left. I screwed up. There we go. That fixed it. Okay, so then... I'm probably just gonna... Down.
Okay, that's the piece I want. Good to know. Alright, so... Next thing we need to do is uh, place a set here. Outside of that, we need a set here. Although, the set here would be easy, because instead of that, I just grab the, uh, I just grab the three meter I placed back here. And then that's easy. Far, far, far easier. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we go back to this. Now we place uh, railings on our second deck. Okay, so then... I need a one meter straight left here. I need a two... Is that? Oh, yeah, that's not a piece, right? Two meters straight left here. Probably want a three meter straight left and then just nothing, because we have. The, to the torpedoes do have to shoot over. Would have to uh, shoot over the fence. So, I feel like I'm just not gonna have the fence where the torpedoes gotta shoot out of. Just out of worry that they'd hit it. Maybe if I have more elevated torpedo tubes in the future, I could do that. Um, so I want a one meter straight left here. This should be a two meter straight left. Uh, I would say this should be a one meter straight left. I will try that. It works. Okay, cool. Um... This should be a three meter straight left. And then over here we get a one meter sloped left. A two meter slope left. Alright, so I think that's all the fencing we need. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Up here. I gotta have a four meter straight left there. This is gonna be a one meter, uh, I'm, I should do a one meter straight right. I think that'll work better. And then. I think technically you're better for this spot. Yeah, good enough. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna delete this. Delete that. Delete this. And I'm just gonna do a two meter straight left. Instead. And then leave that part uh, unfenced. We need fences up here, actually, so this has to be a three meter straight left. Need a one meter slope. Did I did not copy that over? No, I did. I did. Okay, I did. Then this we need a two meter here. But I'm gonna put a two meter there, and that should work well enough.
Okay, so that's all that fenced in. Okay, so pin core is now fenced. So next up is Carly floats. These are the things which will actually let people survive if the ship goes down. Do we have any? Okay, so we don't. I don't need to do the bridge thing. I have put the gangway thing. I haven't put those on the destroyers. Those are only on the cruisers and bigger. So you'll see them on uh, Lethbridge and uh, Ottawa, for example. Okay, man, I'm so happy with how Ottawa turned out. Uh, anyways, these things... Hold on, gotta do another fix on Ottawa. Mirror? Mirror. Properly mirror these. There we go. Alright, now, give me one. We gotta make sure we have enough Carly floats to let people survive if the ship goes down. It's kind of their whole point. Actually, that's probably pretty good. Maybe not the top set. I might remove that top set. But I think this bottom set's in a good location. Now, over the rest of the boat... Well, let's see, let me grab some from Lethbridge, then. So we can place a couple aft. Like here. I don't think I want any on that wall. Might have some up here, up about here. That's not a terrible location for a set. Other thought is below the torpedo tubes is probably a good location. Actually below each set of torpedo tubes. And probably even by the ship's boat. One last spot could be up here. I, I don't think that's big enough. For any. Guess if I can jam one in here somehow? I think that'll work. I think that that's a decent spot for one. Allow for uh, survivors. Okay, yeah, there's uh, Pincor's life rafts. Is she? How well is she floating? Is she still floating a little high? I think she's still floating a little high. So I should add some more ballast. It should let the ship float on the actual level I want it to. And also just make it a little, you know, easy. Or, uh, a little better. A little more straight. I think that's more about where I want her to float. She might be a little slightly... Uh, I think she, I, I think she's balanced. Her center of mass seems pretty much in the center. It doesn't seem like the bow or stern's coming up more than the other. All right, so that's done. We've given her a little bit more ballast, so she should be a little bit more controllable and a little lower in the water. Uh, one thing I should probably do is uh, make her actually controllable by us. And add a uh, control thing here. I don't even have this on all my ships. 
I'll be honest. I might do ship's wheel just so it can't change. All right. So now we have everything else to still put on this. Which is at this point just decorations. Hooray! We're at the decorative stage. Oh, she needs does she need a crane at all? I think, some, I think my other ships in general have some sort of crane on them. You don't. Let me take a look at destroyers. Do they usually have some sort of crane? Or destroyers on my other monitor. Do they usually have some sort of crane on them somewhere? I don't know if destroyers really do. I actually think they do. It does look like there's a crane. I don't know, maybe... Maybe not. I'm not... I'm looking at a tribal class. I'm not immediately seeing one. We have various images of it. Not immediately seeing a crane. Ah, oh, okay, I see a crane. Never mind. Um, so we do want to have a small crane somewhere. Um, I know I have crane models. So we don't want... Okay, so we get a crane creston. That's the small crane on the creston. Um, crane creston 2. So I think that's a smaller version of the crane. Uh, so that's illustrious. I don't want illustrious as cranes. Actually, uh, these ones might not be bad. Ah, uh, that's not a terrible crane. Other than that, uh, Shawinigan has a crane. I think I want Shawinigan's cr crane. Shawinigan's crane is pretty good. That's probably the best of the cranes aesthetically. I can just go right there. Just be situated off this way, probably with some... Hold up. Oh, it can't move because it's stuck in that block. Here it can move, right? So about 150 degrees is what it looks like. Yeah, I think that'll work. There's little cranes. Bring stuff on board. Alright, so now we need all the little details. So, I want to bring my, uh, pieces over. So I should put a crane on, uh, this destroyer, too. I'm not sure I have any room, though. I don't think Candiac has any room for a crane. Maybe here? I don't know, Candiac's so jam-packed full, I'm just not sure if I can do it. Oh, it's trying to generate a second flag out of the decoration. That's weird. Okay, so I might want to change this decoration then. I'm going to do that real quickly because it is trying to generate a flag out of it. Maybe a recoil absorber. Four meter recoil observe. I'll do a two meter. Put it 
through there. Get it this way. Not no. Just do that, and then color it. Color it that. 1.7 on that, and uh... Gotta get more out over there. Alright, uh, copy all there. And paste all here. Alright, save Candiac as she is, and now we can get back to her more. This is one of those things where I looked over and it's like, oh yeah, I should probably fix that. So, let me grab these two uh, decorations. down there. Actually, you're color 7. I need to change my default color 7. But uh, I know you have a good default color 7. Yeah, okay, that should be... that should look a little bit more gray. Okay, so let me grab one of these. I'm not really sure if these are too... If I need these too much on a destroyer like this, but I might have them anyway. Just a little bit of a deck clutter. Have a little section of these back here. I think these are kind of like supposed to be windows into the lower portions of the ship. Okay, so I need to bring this on board. And my first set of these should probably be placed somewhere near anti-aircraft guns, because these are like little storage bins. And the next thing I need is uh, the bollards. It's kind of two set of bollards. Then I'm going to need to place some of these down on the ship. I should probably just do that right now. So let's start astern and work our way forward. Right there. Our first pair right there will be the second. I think we need. I think we want a pair about there. Probably good to have a pair there. I'll put a pair there. Two. I'll have a pair up here. And we can have a pair there. And then I want one pair on on the bow. That would probably be here-ish. Okay, there we go. We got that in. What other pieces do I need to grab? I think uh, the hatch. I need to grab the little hatch thingy. This little thing. And I think that should be the last piece I need to grab for uh, pin core. Or on the turret. Okay. I'll have to place more stuff down on the bow, on the bow eventually. But you know, we can just do this. If we could have some, something like that up near the boat, I'll place another one there. I'll place another one here. How about? Oh, here.
Okay, that should be it for that. Oh, right, I have one more little piece I can grab. One more little piece, and that's this guy. Now that I have this piece, I can start putting them on just some various places on the boat. Like there. I probably do want some kind of... Maybe not there. I do already have the uh, uh, coil things, so I don't need to grab any of those, thankfully. There, I'll place a set there. I have a big open area here, might as well place one. I could place a couple between the Carly floats. Place a set back. Not been on mirror this entire time. I think that was all of them I put down, other than the ones on the bow, which were already mirrored. Maybe a set down back here. Oh, I do have these guys already. Cool. I think like a set of three toolboxes just kind of sitting over there would be neat. Place one down there, and then stick some throughout other areas in the ship. Place one there. It should be colored with paint 7 though, not paint 5. And I should probably color the forward ones as well like that, because I would have also screwed that up. Alright, actually, one thing I need to do is I need to take this little winch, and, uh, well, first of all, I need to add one near the cranes, because that's... having additional cable for the cranes is probably a pretty good thing. Um... More like... here-ish. Or it's not impeding access to the K guns. And I think it's a smart idea to place one in here. This is probably one by the uh, forward mast, since that would be where rigging and such would be needed, so it's probably need some form of this. Alright, so now we just gotta go about placing, uh, everything else down. Alright, so, start with these. I need to place one up here, even though this is supplying three anti-aircraft guns, so it's a little stupid. Should probably have one down here too, then. Even though these ones don't mirror perfectly, it's good enough at a distance, so... 
I don't really care. Place the toolbox there. I'm gonna have one there too. Probably have a couple near... Oh, I mean that forward gun is kind of surrounded with them, so... I don't know if I can get any up here. I can get some up here. Probably get one like there. I got all the hatches I need. I need these guys. I think I want like a set there, probably. I'll place some there. Yeah, our stern end's pretty well decorated, I think. I think I just need to focus more on the rest of the ship. Oh, hold on, hold on. We need, uh,. These crates nearby this Bofors mount. There we go, crates by the Bofors mount. Just place some of these around boxes. That's a good spot. I would say that's a good spot for one, but technically that space has to be walked um, underneath, so it's not really that great of a space for one. I think that's a good space for one. Let's can start Okay, that's got to be angled, technically, so I will hesitate on that for the moment. I'll put one on top of the bridge, too. Alright, we can probably put a couple nearby the torpedoes. Or, you know what? Over here. Over here, that's a good spot. I don't think that's a great thing to go underneath the torpedoes. I think this is. This implies that uh, there's some storage underneath the torpedoes more. I might place one to, I might place this down to there. Or, I oh don't know, probably won't. It's a good, good place for one of these crates. Might be here. But the lifeboats. And I think I'll place a crate down here too. Alright, now on to the bow section. Um, this one will probably swap out for the other kind. Okay, seriously, I hate it when it does that. Okay. There's a couple of these guys down there, and then maybe an additional one here. I think I want one more decoration and just maybe two more. I'll take one of these guys. I eh, probably don't want one there. Take one of these guys and put it there.
So this there is a little bit of a bare spot here, so maybe what I'll do is I'll take this guy, and move him back somewhat, put him there instead. No, no, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'll put one of these guys in over here. Over there. And there we go. Save the pin core as the pin core and color five. And there's pin core in her full camouflage. All right. So, is there anything I've missed out on? Uh, let me just despawn everything else. Receiving. 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 I don't know. I think we got it. I think that's all the detail we've needed. Uh, how long has the stream been? Uh, let me check. Seven hours! Seven hours! It took seven hours to build, including meal breaks and bathroom breaks. Wow! It's not fully functional yet, but... You know, I'm happy! That turned out well. Still got a... I mean, still gotta build the, uh, or her modernization and then her, uh, successor class. But hey, Pincore is done! Um, I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna... Okay, I'll leave you on this, and then I'll take some screenshots and post them in places. So, uh, I'm gonna get ship I'm building 2 out of the way. So that you can get a prettier view of this. So, uh, hold on. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching. It's been me, Moment 7 Spore, with some From the Depths. We have visually, or aesthetically, completed a destroyer in seven hours. And yeah, um, I guess uh, I will... I mean, this went well. Um, I have a modernization of her to make, and a uh, second... Uh, slightly different class, which I'll just do on my own. But, you know, this is good. This went well. I'm hap I'm very happy with how she looks, and, uh, I will very much get to show her off. I'm not... Don't like the yellow guns. I'll have to fix that sometime later. That is, uh, an issue of, uh, not having them hooked up to an AI. But, yeah, uh, with that, I think I will see you guys next time. This went well. Alright. Bye! As long as I normally do. I mean, seven hour stream, give me a break. It was a little long. I'm still happy though. Thank, thank you, all of everyone who watched. I feel like I'm forgetting to link or mention the Discord, Twitter, and uh, YouTube and that, but eh. I'm starting to not care as much anymore. All right. Bye.